Hello, Wargamers, and welcome to the final episode, a little bit of sweet, of the Legion Lockdown for 9th edition Warhammer 40k. Scary and Luca here from MiniWarGaming.com, bringing you the action. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show as madness unfolds. Yeah. Work. Mini War Gaming's Warhammer 40k Battle Report. Sorry for the bad audio on this one, though, guys. The Scar and I wanted you all to leave some feedback in the comments down below what your favorite matchup in this entire series was, which chapter versus which Legion you liked seeing the most, and then if you see someone else had already put your vote down in the comments, just thumbs up it. We want to know. We want to try and remember and uh, recreate that in the future or look back at those videos and laugh. I just, I like to see what the feedback looks like. Anyways, enjoy the game. It's a doozy. Everyone, here we are. All we have to do today is roll off to see who will be playing the Imperial Fist Ooh. and who will be playing the Black Legion. For those of the last mm -hmm. remaining forces, we've done eight episodes before this. This is the ninth this and the ninth final one. episode. Of, I'm uh, very excited about this. We'll spark it up again in 10th, though. Yeah, of course. You yeah. have to. This yeah. is something that has to happen again. What? Thanks I, to everybody who's enjoyed and watched and course. told us how much you enjoy and watch, because random space marine on space marine action, apparently very entertaining to yeah. play I, and to watch. I, you guys really like it. In <laughs> fact, it was it was your comments on the videos that a few people e emailed me to like bring it back because I, I kind of got a little discouraged because I thought we lost a lot of the footage and I didn't really want to keep going with it. But we were like, where's the rest of the lockdown? Where's the rest of the lockdown? Are you going to bring it back? I'm like, okay, yes. You know what? I will bring it back. I didn't realize you guys liked it that much. At least the vocal few. Like, uh, usually you don't get that kind of feedback. So it's like, it was kind of nice to hear. So I'm glad to bring it back. I'm glad to finish it. And uh, looking forward to doing it in 10th edition. I would imagine kind of like, I don't know when in 10th, I'd say like, after the first hump, if that makes sense. Like, kind of like once we've all figured out our armies and figured out how well, to play we'll the game. We'll see how that all yeah. works out. But at the same yeah. time, it'd be nice, you know, especially, like, it'd be fun to do it in, like, say, Index Hammer because everything will sort of be, like, on equal footing. True. However, as soon as Codexes come out, then that's where it starts getting messy. Right. So it's right. either we either do it with Indexes or we do it when both armies have their Codexes right. available. So it's one of the two. Yeah. I would assume my lazy butt's going to wait till the Codexes come out because that'll have the Unless biggest... Unless you all send Luca very <laughs> passionate no. emails. Do it, do it to two seasons in one at the start of the edition, <laughs> one at the end of the edition with all this mm -hmm. stuff. Because it'd be less to randomize if we do it with Indexes. There'd be more variety with the Codexes. But it would there's be. No, there's nothing to say we can't do it twice though i guess yeah you know what it's true but no promises guys i'm not right. don't take that as a promise <laughs> i'm just saying i was thinking out loud here all right mm -hmm. why don't we roll what do you want to roll for this one high is if you roll a four i up, think what do you we got there? both should roll a dice and Ooh. the winner gets to be the imperial fists because they won the horus heresy okay fine they you know what they actually did yeah <laughs> all right so we're gonna roll the d6 the yeah. high roll is the fifth that works for me i like this i like this concept. i like this concept as well i got a five oh scar gets a six all right so four dawn scar we will be playing the Imperial Fist. I'll be playing the Black Legion. We're going to go with the same format, kind of Highlander-ish. Yeah, 1,500 points. 1,500 points. Random World of Traits, Relics, Psychic yep. Powers, and Abilities, which has been phenomenally fun to use. Yes. Tempest of War and uh, Highlander, except for troops. Yeah, except for troops. Except yeah. we have a fantastically themed table. We're going to recreate the Siege of... You know, something. Something. <laughs> Terra. But I figured, like, as we set up, the Imperial Fist would have been on the side, and yep. the, the Black Templar, not the Black Templar, <laughs> yeah, that's the other fist. <laughs> the uh, Black Legion is going to be pushing up the middle here. So, I, it's like, tables like this I miss playing on. Like, you don't need the big structures to block line of sight. I'm hoping, like, and but with the with the lockdown format, there's never too much oppressive shooting, so, like, you can kind of play on an open table if you wanted to. So, you get to play on something kind of fun. There's some, dec there's some dense terrain on here, and there's some good, like, cover and whatnot, so it'll be fun to figure it out. However, as always, the first thing we do is we get our heroes, yes. we name them, we figure out who they are and what they're equipped with, and then we build a force around them. I'm kind of curious what kind of model you're going to go find. Thunderhammer, Storm Shield, Terminator, Lysander stand-in. Come on, Lysander. <laughs> yeah, like, I have to. I'm okay. playing Imperial Fists. Okay. There's going to be some Terminators. That's fair. Let's yeah. go see what we can find. I present to you all, Regak the Executioner is my Chaos Lord today, my acting warlord for the Black Legion forces. He'll be equipped with a Thunderhammer and a Chainsword, which I thought was kind of a cool loadout. I effectively went upstairs to Dave's office, found the coolest looking Chaos Lord that I haven't used in a while, and I decided I'd give this guy a shot. He's a little off color, so he's supposed to be Black Legion there. He's just uh, 
armor's a little dirtied from uh, all the uh, executions. He will be our warlord, and we're gonna give him a relic. So we're gonna go ahead and roll for both of those right now. You know what, guys? I'll spend an additional command point on him before I roll anything on Gift of Chaos, allowing him to take a fancy weapon as well as a like generic relic. We'll actually go all out on him. We'll make him a Lord of the Ezekarion as well, which is a Black Legion upgrade, allowing him to take two Warlord traits. One of them has to be a Black Legion one. Are and you telling me, Luca? That Luca? <laughs> that he has two Warlord traits and two relics? Yes. What is this madness? <laughs> That's kind of insane. Spending four command points on, on one, one character? character? I do that all the time with my word bears, but it's at least good with them. So we'll see, <laughs> we'll see if it's worth it on this guy. Especially when it's all random. It is. You I never have, know what's going to happen. Know. I'm going to have two random warlord traits and two random relics. It's beautiful. It. One of them has One of them has to be a weapon. A weapon. Yes. Right. Let's start with the warlord traits. I just real doubles. I got four and six. He's like little vampire. Four is soul eater. So he gets to reroll wound rolls in melee. And if he kills a, a, a model, he'll heal D3 wounds at the end of that combat phase as he consumes their souls. <laughs> it's like the most chaos thing ever. And then six is a paragon of hatred. So he, re he rerolls charge rolls. And when he goes to fight, every time he goes to fight, he gets an extra attack. Unless he's fighting Imperium models, it's an extra D3 attacks. So he is a little murderer. Let's see what kind of relics he gets. The Gonna roll for his weapon upgrade first, so he can either have, funny enough, Black Legion have a Thunder Hammer upgrade and a Chainsword upgrade. I didn't realize that. Uh, four up would be the Thunder Hammer that gets upgraded to, uh, it's the Abyssal weapon. Uh, so we get the teeth, that's Gorsevex's Gore teeth? Well, this guy might be unstoppable, unless you just came, like a melted gun to the face, they'll take him out, I guess. Uh, he's got, uh, the teeth are a two damage AP3 Chainsword that gets three extra attacks. So he'll do a buttload of attacks at that Thunder Hammer and then just rev up the Chainsword and do three more attacks with it afterwards. Rolling a d6 for his generic relic on the Black Legion table. He's got to take the last one that he can take. There's the d4. So one to four. This is the second one. Uh, that'll be the Cloak of Conquest. Characters in core within six of him are objective secured. Which will probably only mean him, but that's still kind of cool to have a little upset character. I present to you the mighty Imperial Fist Terminator Commander. Named Lor <laughs> Saporin. Wait, like L O R? L O H R. Oh, L O H R. Lor Saporin? L O H R. Lor Saporin. Saporin. Lor Saporin. Lor Saporin. Terminator, Cap Captain of the Imperial Fists. Captain Saporin. Okay, that's what we got here. So He's Saporin the Pain. <laughs> What does that mean? He's pouring the pain? He's pouring the pain all over you. Oh, he's pouring. Nice. Okay, fair. All right, so that's who we got here. Lord or uh, Captain Sapporin there. He's got a cool shield there. This is Imperial Fist Praetor from the Horus Heresy, uh, acting as like a just a dope Yeah, he's got character. a Relic Blade and a Storm Shield and his Terminator armor. That works. So let's go ahead and give him a Warlord trait. Now, I did spend a command point to give him two Warlord traits, but I can't give him two relics. Only chaos. <laughs> <laughs> they don't get the gifts of chaos. So Warlord Traits. His Warlord Trait shall be a reroll. Six. Uh, six. A stoic, no, Hand of Dawn. Ooh. Uh, before the battle of my army's battle force, which it is, I will uh, gain an a D3 extra command points. That's kind of cool. Yeah. All right. Not my bad. That's okay. And the second Warlord Trait shall be Architects of War. So friendly Imperial Fist units within six. Uh, will ignore AP one. Oh, okay. He just reduces AP against them. Yeah. Well, ignore AP one specifically. Oh, does that work for melee as well? Yes. Oh, that's pretty dope. Yeah. It'll that's help really against cool. like all your little chains. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's kind of a cool yeah, trait. That's nice. right. That's anyway, very defensive. That's, it's gonna make him very defensive. And now let's roll for his relics. So there are five relics. So there's one relic of the fists and one of the and then four special issue war gear that he can take. So I'm gonna roll a D five, rerolling a six, and that will be his relic. Which shall be four. Lor Saporin, protector of the fortifications, will be acquiring digital weapons. Oh, what does that do in, in that old 8th edition book? You just do one extra attack. If it hits, it does a mortal. 
Okay, so he's, it's a yeah, digital weapons for anyone curious is like a common thing a lot of Imperial characters, or just like things that 40K yep. will have. It's like a little ring with a laser built into it, or like like literally a toe boot knife. Yep. That's kind of like... A little, <laughs> does he have a little eyeball that he can shoot little lasers at? Or it could be on his shield. He's like, eh, knocks yeah. it with a shield. It's a, essentially wound. like some nasty secret like little hidden weapon he has. I, I like it. it. I just like it a lot. Just a single extra mortal wound. That's right. A fancy. That, I guarantee you, I'm going to call it's it now. kill someone. That's how... Uh, Ray Raygak dies. He's gonna like die it. to the digital weapon. <laughs> Let's have some honorable mentions to our Imperial Fist champion that we're gonna be playing with today, because he's got a lot of things going for him here. Why don't you go ahead and let That's him right. know. That's right, so his name is Torius Agathon. Of course, we randomly rolled for that one. And uh, he is my chapter champion. He's upgraded to be the bestest champion that he can be. And his sole duty is to go and lay low the heretics and traitors. However, I do have to say, he has access to like 15 different relics. That's kind of why we're, we don't usually do the support characters, <laughs> but this guy is kind of cool. He has uh, quite a few different relics that he can roll. So I'm going to basically You have to roll. like D3 the chart and then... I don't know. I'm like, going to roll... You could you could do like a D3 for the first five. To split five, them in five. Then so six we'll do that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we're going to split them into the, the early five or the late five. So early five. Yes, that, wait, that'd be the D3. That'd be the middle five. Middle five, sorry. That's the middle five. So five, middle yeah. five. <laughs> you can take five, up to 15 different relics. What's going on yeah. here? <laughs> So let's see, one to five, re-rolling a six. It is number one. So his relic is the Honor Vehement. So he has an aura, whenever a core unit is within six inches of the bearer, they get plus one attack. Oh. As long as it is uh, not, it's not cumulative with the- uh, Oh, shock With assault. the shock assault. Also the, so in protracted yeah. combats, or when, you know, in protracted combats, he will give them all an additional attack, leading them into the fray. That's pretty good for some of the stuff you have there. Nice, yeah. okay. And now we'll roll for his Warlord trait. Oh, he gave him a Warlord trait too? Yeah, Beautiful. I went all out. <laughs> all right, I like it. So, his Warlord trait shall be... The indomitable. An unmodified wound roll of a one to three always fails. Oh, nice. Making him transhuman. Yeah, that's kind of a good one. I like that I a like lot. It. That'll be it for the characters. Let's go take a look at the forces. We'll take a look at the Black Legion first, and then we'll see what the Imperial Fists are bringing to bear. From Rigok the Executioner come the rest of my forces. Playing an Arcs of Moment attachment with a focus on troops. I'm gonna go with another character here. This is a Dark Apostle. No upgrades. Uh, the random prayer to the Dark Gods he got was a uh, dark, Benediction of Darkness or something. Which uh, gives core and characters, I believe, wholly within six, the benefits of light cover. That will not have any effect against the superior uh, Siege tactics? Tactics or martial prowess of the Imperial Fist with guns because they just ignored light cover. <laughs> so, but he does have the hatred rerolls. So that's nice. There's always that. Moving on, we're going to bring a master of executions because you, Scar, you had mentioned bringing a champion. I'm like, I want a champion too. So that's what the master of ex executions ended up being. I didn't expect Ragok the executioner or the soul leader, even in this case, uh, to roll up such like nasty combat stuff. So we got Ragok the executioner. No upgrade, just an executioner. And then we got Rhaegar's hype man, the sorcerer, who knows, di he rolled up Diabolic Strength as well as Gift of Chaos. Gift of Chaos, sorry, Diabolic Strength is plus two strength and attacks to a model within 12 inches. So he's going to be following around the Chaos oh, Lord. Terrifying. <laughs> Making him even killy -er, 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 er As for the rest of my forces, I put a lot of points into Legionnaires. So I got three into five Legionnaires. Just chain swords. Uh, there's like a plasma guns and a melt -a gun in one of the squads. All the champions are going to be WYSIWYG with power fists and power axes and whatever they may be equipped with. And then I have one larger unit of Legionnaires, uh, 10 strong. Uh, what you see is what you get here. Just one plasma gun, the rest are chain swords and the tainted axe. They're going to be riding in a dedicated transport with a Havoc launcher. And then we're going to run a pretty expensive squad here. It's 10 Chosen. Uh, the champion has two accursed weapons. Uh, there is a couple of power fists in there. And then there's, actually, there's a regular, regular guy with a double tainted weapon or cursed weapon as well. I'm gonna be riding in a rhino. And the last part of this 1500 point list will be seven Terminators, Chaos Terminators. Very, very thematic for the Black Legion here to run Terminators up at the enemy. Uh, I will have everything as what you see is what you get. Uh, some accursed weapons, the Reaper Auto Cannon, couple combi meltas, couple power fists, couple, one chain fist, uh, fun things like that. And that is the list. Now I will say for everything else, it is unmarked. I did not want to skew into any chaos god here, so save points on marks and don't have to worry about them. Just have to worry about the Black Legion rules. Let's go take a look at the Imperial Fist. 
While Saporin has called upon his brothers to defend this critical location against the forces of chaos, with him, of course, he has brought five of his trusty, trusty First Legion Terminators and their Land Raider transport. It's going to be providing some much needed firepower. Towards the side, we've got a Predator Destructor with double heavy bolter and auto cannon ready to lay down the foe. A unit of bikes ready to come in and do some scouting ahead of the enemy and hopefully getting some objectives in no man's land. Of course, the meat and potatoes of the list together with the company champion is two tactical squads. Each, what you see is what you get. Power fists, plasma guns, plasma pistols, rocket launchers, a whole variety of awesome things. Now, those Black Templars you see there are company veterans. That's right, just gonna bring a couple of company veterans with storm shields, power swords, and a power fist on one of them in an homage to the Black Templars um, and the Templar Brethren from the Heresy. We also brought a Rhino with a Hunter Killer Missile ready to um, do some damage and Venerable Dreadnought Alexander, who, will, <laughs> <laughs> who has a twin last cannon, a heavy flamer, and he will hopefully inspire his brothers to great feats of valor. I love it. This is a beautiful list. This is uh, Adam from Greenleaf. He built this up for 8th edition. He kind of messed around with it a little bit and then went on to other things and uh, let us have it over here where well, we bought it off him. So this is kind of like our only Imperial Fist collection uh, with some of Josh's 30k stuff uh, subbing in to fill out the rest of the points And there. it looks really, really cool. It's beautiful, man. I love yeah. it. I'm excited to play against it. We're going to go ahead and roll off and deploy our forces. We're going to get into this game. It's going to be Tempest to War, baby. Let's see what uh, the card dictate we do. Today's Tempest to War mission will be a hammer and anvil style deployment. This will have both players deploying along the short table edges opposite one another. Now we are going to play with our five objectives. We don't have the sixth one here. One in each player's deployment zone as you can see. And then these three evenly spaced out in no man's land. That just kind of happened by chance. Uh, just kind of keeping it even between Scarry and myself here with these secondaries. Now the actual mission will be claimed the battlefield which felt fitting. Uh, for this setup we have. It's all about taking ground and pushing into the enemy territory while they're trying to reclaim said ground and eliminate their enemy forces. Now in the second, third, and fourth battle rounds, including the fifth. Now in every battle round but the first, you will be scoring victory points as follows. Five victory points for one objective, five victory points for two objectives, or, or more on both of those, and two for each objective marker that is currently claimed by your army. Now to do so, you just do this action on an infantry unit or an objective secured unit and they finish at the end of your movement phase and they put a little flag up on the objective saying it is yours and you don't get those uh, two points per objective. Now you can score up to 45 points in this primary. The other 45 points will be coming from the random dairy. The other 45 points will be coming from the random secondary mission cards that Scarry and I will be drawing throughout this game for a total of up to 90 plus 10 for painted armies. I should note that our mission rule is one of my favorites, Vox Static. So, doesn't matter what it is, stellar flares, malicious scrap code, or electromagnetic energy will restrict our communications. Therefore, the command point reroll will cost two command points instead of one, thus making it virtually useless in most situations. Showing off the deployment, obviously the Imperial Fists are going to come or defend this side of the battlefield in That's this right. hammer and anvil style deployment. We've got the Predator, Tacticals who all combat squatted, Land Raider, what's in the Land Raider? Uh, my Captain and a Tactical Squad with the Plasma Pistol and Plasma Gun. Ooh, yes, right, yes. Right? Uh, the Venerable Dreadnought, Alexander, as well as uh, the other Tactical, half of the Tactical Squad, which is in here. So that's the Grav Pistol and Melted Gun, Power Fist, the Company Veterans and my Company Champion, oh, as well as the Terminators in this flank front, as yep. well. I did uh, outflank the unit of Bikers yep. with the multi melt Attack Bike, the Plasma Gun, and the Power Fist. And then from my side, my Terminators are going to be teleporting onto the battlefield. One of my Legionnaires is going to be pushing up for this objective. I got the Chosen and the Rhino going to zip up this way. Some Legionnaires out front as a screen to rush up the middle with their chain swords and try and cut down some of the enemies before they go down. And then the large unit of Legionnaires and a Rhino on the right flank with all the characters in the middle. The Master of Executions, the Dark Apostle, uh, Lord Chaos Lord Ragok, the soul leader I'll go with now, and our his hype man, the sorcerer, who just gives him diabolic strength every turn uh, when, when relevant. And then over here we got some Legionnaires on the back objective we're watching it, uh, as you'd expect. Then... Uh, that's about it. We're going to roll off to see who goes first in this mission. 
I naturally... Hand of Dawn first, though. Oh, yes, the Hand of Dawn. You the get Hand of Dawn D3 extra gives command me points. an additional command point. So it just paid for its... Did it do anything else? Nope. So it just... Paid for itself. It just paid for itself. Excellent. I guess it would have been written in a... It'd be neat, you know, if it, like, had a... one. Well, it was done, like, yeah. when you had, like, extra stuff, when you didn't have to, like, pay for Warlord. Correct. You know? But it's okay. I get it back. I start That just means we're at the same starting command points, then. That's right. So you just didn't spend that one. Sure. <laughs> we'll, we'll pretend I didn't spend it. <laughs> That's effectively it. <laughs> Only to see who'll go first. Ah, I'm going to roll down the table. Get a six and for I'm chaos. Roll a two. A two. Right. You... Have to come at me, bro. All right, Black Legion, turn one, running at the enemy. I don't even think I have any heavy weapons in the list for uh, Let the Galaxy Burn in the first round. I think the Havoc launchers, if they're heavy, might work. <laughs> That's about it. So we are going to go and play this game. So good luck to the Imperial Fist. Not good luck to you, traitor. I don't need your not good luck, sir. <laughs> I think we're just going to... Let's gonna... roll. Let's do this. And try our best. I'm going to be using this to keep track of our score. I'll be the enemy on the right. These will be my command points. These will be Scaries. And then these D10s are going to be tracking our primary points up to 45. And the secondaries are going to be scored on the sides. Five points per card, up to nine cards scored. So it's pretty easy to keep track of. Our first three cards today will be Battlefield Supremacy, which is possible. Bring It Down, which is killing the Land Raider. And Blood and Guts, which is not ideal to draw. I, would, I like that card for my force. Don't like it on turn one, though. That's a dead draw, I think. Battlefield Supremacy is going to be holding three or more objectives and more than Scar. So I got the one in the back corner. I have to push for this objective and that objective. That one's directly in the middle, and then these ones just evenly spaced out, one towards that side and one towards this side. So these guys can get here easily enough. It's going to be probably not too hard to get there, really. Uh, as for command phase, I only have one thing to do, and that's the Dark Apostle praying for Dark Zealotry, because I'm never going to do Benediction of Darkness, because it does literally nothing. <laughs> Whoops. Oops, Imperial Fist stuff. <laughs> You get plus one to the roll for the little homies, though. Okay, <laughs> he's not very good at being a dark. A dark but I want to give everybody cover. <laughs> he says, "I want to make them." I studied Benediction of Darkness <laughs> at Dark Apostle School, and I want to use it. So we're gonna go right to movement. Uh, the only thing that really matters, I think, is the advanced roll on this rhino. Uh, let's see what we get there. We're gonna get a two, which just counteracts the negative move, so should be able to get there. We'll just drive right up to the terrain there. And that is about it. These guys are just going to do a regular move because they want to do the action to claim it in the name of Chaus. So they're going to move on there. And then the rest is going to advance. Those Legionnaires back there are also going to perform the action on that objective because it's one or more units can do it, not just one a turn. So you can claim as many objectives as you have legal units to do so with, which again is infantry or objective security units. So it can also be characters that raise the flag of chaos or of the Imperium. I'll give you that before and the after. So we are going to show these, these guys moved on here. They started to perform the objective to raise the banner. That will complete at the end of the turn. So let's put the little, the little die there to represent that in Chaos's name. Everything rushing forward. We can't raise the banner. We can't claim that objective because we don't have any infantry in range of it. The Legionnaires advanced. Not enough to actually even get in range of the objective. And then the Chosen or the other Legionnaire Rhino over there. They stayed back to claim that objective. None of the characters are going to do anything, though I did realize, just in case, I'm going to put a... He's outside of 18 inches to smite over here, so he can't really... That's as far as he could go. We are going to use Diabolic Strength on the Chaos Lord, though, just in case he gets charged. Because he needs more attacks. Just in case you get fancy with that Land Raider and what's inside of it. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so let's see if we amp him up a little bit. We... Oh! That's up. That that sixes and ones in 40k, Correct. or is that sigma? Yes, both. Okay, so it's a but it, go, it does go off. It works. Yeah. Uh, do I want to? Do I want to take? I have no pact of flesh. I have no way to heal him. <laughs> I'm gonna command point that. Two command points for that? <gasps> I'm not gonna do that. Okay. I'm gonna take my mortal wounds and shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna add the. Uh, I'm gonna add the diabolic strength to the uh, chaos lord Regak, the soul eater. And then, uh, even though he's execution, he's also known as the soul leader. Uh, we're gonna take our damage. We're gonna suffer three mortal wounds and look like a dummy. <laughs> <laughs> Two wounds left, a small cost to give the Chaos Lord a, a couple of attacks for a turn. Chaos consumes us. I said off camera jokingly, I won't risk it, there's no real point. And then I'm like, ah, oh, you might get cheeky if I don't do it, so I'll do it for now. What are the risks of miscasting? Bam, about one. 100% one <laughs> at this point in time. So far, 100% yeah. miscast rate. <laughs> That's the end of my turn. So I do get Battlefield Supremacy. Boom, boom, boom. More than the opponent. Obviously, I did not kill the Land Raider, nor <laughs> did I kill anything in Melee this turn. So I'm actually 
can get, even though blood gets good for me, I'm gonna get rid of it because I'd rather draw you more cards. You can't if you hold yeah. on to it, you'll literally just be stuck with it. All you just game. lose the game if you do that kind yeah. of stuff. So yeah. dropping both those cards means I'll draw three new cards next turn, and I get five points for secondary. And turn to you, sir. Excellent. High Command has given us the order to capture the enemy outpost. Although potential throughout the course of the game, not something I can do turn one. Uh, bring it down, you have wisely picked the Rhino with the Legionnaires for me to kill, not the one with the Chosen in it. And investigate sites doing an action wholly within six inches of the center of the table. I uh, don't know if that's even possible. If that objective is right in the middle, it is directly in the middle. then I'm not gonna be able to do that. So I'll probably get five points if I can kill a single rhino. That sounds like a chaos turn if I've heard one. Yep. To give you an idea of what the middle of the table looks like, that is the objective for us there. So investigating sites will be rather difficult. And then, because I bring it down, I have two units that have the exact same wound characteristic. They are rhinos. Uh, I pick which one for Scar to kill, and I don't want him to kill the one with the Chosen in it. I'd rather him kill the one with the Legionnaires in it. So that is why I picked that one. Venerable Dreadnought Alexander, technically he's here because I haven't moved him yet, but he's going to go for Wisdom of the Ancients, uh, reroll wound rolls of one. So he's going to essentially make himself a lieutenant for the turn. Yes. Um, and then I will move him. That's it for the command phase? Yes. All right. Well, no scoring primary in the first turn, but I'll give you guys a look at what the current command points and score is. I go up to four command points. Scar was at four, he just used Wisdom of the Ancients, and we're still at zero on primary for now. That'll start ramping up pretty quick in the second battle round. Yep. And uh, just the one secondary scored for myself. Movement phase. Yep. He's shipping so that way. He's going to go back this way. He's staying within six inches of both of these. Yes, so they um, both get the rerolls. And then my captain will be unloading and also getting rid of six inches <laughs> of both of them as well. Bunkering up, I like that. That's right. I, it's a very Imperial Fist oh, thing of course. to do, I, I would I assume. Have, I have no doubts there. Are you going to claim this objective, I They're going to get out and claim this objective. Oh yeah, because you want to shoot with them. That makes Correct. sense, absolutely, yep. Yeah. Now I do have, if I need to, I can always use Uncompromising Fire for two command points to then allow them to shoot. Um, but I don't know if that'll be necessary, so we'll see if that's even needed. I'd like to imagine that my perils by boosting his stats up scared you to not assault me, so you're definitely backing out. And I'm taking... definitely not running forward because, well, the, it's really about these chosen. Yeah, they're Those kind chosen of chosen. Like, chosen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so eight inches for this uh, land raider. Because the train gets slowed down a little bit. He's Moving just gonna up. go this way a little bit. Opening up a little field of fire. Yep, nothing crazy. You wanna come into the 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 big field of death. The kill zone. That's like definitely the kill the zone. The kill zone. <laughs> That's right. And then we got these turbinators. They're just gonna be creating a bolstered defense. Are line. they gonna claim that objective over there? Uh, no, I'm gonna get. Uh, oh, something else. Some uh, yeah, some tacticals out here. So the tactical squad that's in the Rhino, getting out, moving up, gonna cleanse this objective over here. I'm gonna make sure the Melter Gun's in range because I do have to try kill that Rhino. Yes. So if all else fails, I could always do uncompromising fire here. That <laughs> one Melter Gun. Well, one Melter Gun <laughs> uh, to try, and some bolters, of course. And then this Rhino is going to advance. There Four. you go. Nice. So, uh, 14 with 14. all the, if he hits difficult, yeah. Yeah, 14. Ooh, what's he doing? <laughs> Why is he going? Where's he going? He's going champion. And my company better. Oh, there's still things in there, of course. Yeah. There was just tactics I got out. That's right. <laughs> I'm going straight for your home objective. Let's go. Oh, no. So I'm going to use, to try to get points, tank hunters. So Super I get to points. pick one vehicle. Okay. And I will get plus one to wound against that vehicle. Ooh. With everything that shoots it. And right now, any gun that's strength seven or higher is Correct. an extra damage against vehicles and fortifications. That's right. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to pick. No! <laughs> Rhino, I need to try. Oh, well, yeah, he's going <laughs> to. Yeah, he is. Good pop smoke. Don't try to help. A dreadnought. Venerable dreadnought Alexander that hits on twos now hits on threes. Yes. Because With, of the smoke. Oh, I, st I stopped you one. Did. One Very last nice cannon. Uh, hitting on twos. That tell me shooting at smoke. That wound. That is wound. I think be four. No safe. And I, I, if I had like cover, which I don't. D6 you six damage. Plus one. Oh, that's right. Two, two, two damage. damage. Hooray! Right. Eight wounds left. Nice. So then we're gonna go ahead and do the first rocket launcher over here. Uh, let's see if some of these bolt. Oh, yeah. bolter, 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 bolter. Okay, so all the bolters are in range. Bolters hitting on fours. Did they move or no? They did not. Oh, so that's right. Ah, ha, 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 ha. And I get extra hits. Very nice, because of bolter drill. That's a. That's an imperial fisty this, thing. I get. Yeah, heck yeah, yeah dude. There's a re, there's a one in there. You get to reroll two for the captain being within uh, six. Uh, yeah. Hey, one more hit. There we go. Uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and do fours. Uh, normally fives. Yeah, yeah fours. No, fours Tank hunters. Right 
Okay. Now these do not get extra. They're not heavy weapons either. They're but not. yeah, just so six saves. Six. These are three ups. Try over here. That'll be two more damage, nice. bringing him down to six. Nice. Crack missile. The crack missile. Oh, the smoke. Well, it didn't matter actually. He just rolled a two anyways. Correct. Okay. So we'll do the same with the next unit. The squad here. So missile. And then I've got three bolters that can shoot into that right. So I'll do the bolters first, hitting on threes. Shooting a, uh, rolling t three more dice. Because right. the bolter discipline. And kind of. yeah, Ooh. baby. Needing fives to win that rhino. I with see. rolling ones as well. Two, four. Wisdom of the ancients. <laughs> I take one damage on this. Hooray. Right. He's got nine left. And the next rocket launcher. Hit. Hits. Very nice. Twos to win. Yes, wound. it would be twos because it's plus one. AP three, three on this one. Six up. No. Oh, right D6 through his armor. six plus one. You have six, six, six left. left. Need a five or six to kill it. Oh. One wound oh. left. I oh. <laughs> love it. You still have quite a bit of other firepower. I do. Though, right? Oh, uh, no, well, he has a hunter killer, but I advanced him. Okay, oh, auto cannon can see him, so he's going to shoot the auto cannons here. Yeah, we can see from the the guy at the hatch is directing the fire. <laughs> and then uh, the heavy bolters will shoot into that squad right in front. So let's do the heavy bolters first, hitting on threes. Go, 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 go. Oh, my goodness gracious me. That's the second part to the fist thing, right? Because they ignore, ignore like cover covers. and any bolters on sixes are an additional hit. Gotcha. Cool. Nice. Yeah. Needing threes to wound your legionnaires. Go, 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 go. <laughs> oh, wow. Eight? <laughs> Eight saves on them and minus two. That's right. Uh, so these are five, five ups. ups eh? Every fails. Oh, oh, only three die. Ooh. I five saves. The Luca <laughs> rolls happen again. Boom. Uh, boom. <laughs> we'll keep the melt gun in uh, the power very fist, cool. I guess. Good uh, shot, though. Lucky sons of guns. This I guy's tell bringing you. guns to a sci fi fight, man. <laughs> Auto cannon into the rhino. Kong, 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 kong. Okay. Hitting oh. on fours, smoke. trying to hit through the smoke. Okay. And normally wounding on fours, but plus one, so threes to wound. That'd be two. AP two? At AP two, yes. Fives! Mm -hmm. Oh, make one fail one. That does finish it off. Does it explode? No. No. And then there's ten homies inside. The ten guys inside, two don't make it. Nice. It's just to show like, the <laughs> rhinos aren't make. That's the line. That's where the rhinos don't make it past. Uh, we got the legionnaires poking out over here. Outside of 10 of the terminator. So it's a 12 inch charge. They can still declare it though. Uh, that's with the modifiers. And then uh, that's it. That's okay. uh, the two don't make it out though, as I rolled earlier. All right, we got the rhino up next. The rhino. Sorry, Land Raider. That's, that's the one. right. I, re I respect that's the Land Raider. <laughs> the Land Raider's up next. So the the god pattern last cannons into this uh, rhino, and then the heavy bolter and storm bolter into those legionnaires over there. All right, roll it up. Let's start with these last cannons hitting on threes, because there's no smoke here. No smoke there, sir. Uh, only on threes, though, because there is no plus one to wound against this tank. But that would be two. Ooh, minus four, no saves. Two, two D6 damage. Through, I got you nine. Have nine wounds remaining. Oh, plus one, so 2d6 plus two. Correct, so you need a seven on the dice. Oh, okay, it's just five damage. He's got four remaining uh, hull points, effectively. And then into the infantry. Okay, heavy bolter. Nice. And on threes, that would be four. Four or five ups on two guys. That's right. Five pluses. Oh, oh they're just, just. <laughs> boom, boom. Cleared off the so objective. So close. That's big. That's big. They got mowed down by heavy bolters. So now we've got my first company first terminators. Company. Now they aren't any. I, I'm literally using the WYSIWYG where I'd have like a cyclone rocket launcher, yeah, and like a whole bunch of stuff. But in this case, we're going to believe in the power of bolter fire. <laughs> <laughs> so they're just power fists of bolters, eh? That's right. Uh, yeah. Except for the one power weapon. Um, <laughs> so all of them are going to shoot into the Legionnaire squad that popped out of said Rhino. You don't care about my cover at I all. I do not care about your cover no, at sir. all. So you set up this turn. Well, you, you set up this whole defense defense I line, did. right? So hitting on threes with sixes being additional hits. Woo. Excellent roll. Okay. Fours and to wound. Fours to wound. No AP yet. No AP yet. Nine saves. I got ten dice in the hand. We can keep the one there. That kills one, two legionnaires. Nice. So many fields of fire. <laughs> Just losing so many guys. And of course. Now going into the charge phase, I do need a boxcar's charge to make it in. However, I would be remiss if I didn't try and lay low the heretic and traitor. Absolutely. The so, zeal! The zeal's taking over! Twelve! No. Ooh, eight. Not no, today. not quite. That would have really screwed my plans up <laughs> on my turn. I would have, but I mean, that's a dope charge anyways. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. now, morales. I lost four homies here. 
So we're gonna roll a nine. I think they're I okay. Think they're okay. They should be leashed. Well, plus nine. the oh, the dark apostles probably too far, but yeah, they're probably nine. I'll double check all that. That's the only you have to test for. So the legionaries are nine on the champion. That tactical squad in the back there has claimed the objective, and this one here has claimed that objective. So we're both tied on claimed. This one stays claimed until I lose control. Until well, the you enemy. don't. You still get the two points for it. But you yeah, don't get. I don't the, get the primary. The primary, but you you just need two to get max right. primary here. So yeah. it's like yeah. What, is there anything in there anymore? No, no it's, it's empty, empty now. Gotcha, okay. Yeah. Great score is bring it down. I did, I brought it down. I tried to kill both of the rhinos. Of course. Uh, but one. Now, because you only have two tanks, though, I am going to be flipping to the tactical doctrine yeah. to make sure all my um, bolters get plus one AP for yeah. the next couple of turns. If you want, that's going to be brutal for me. It's going to be good. Yeah, it's absolutely. Good. And then I'm going to get rid of investigate sites and capture enemy outposts because... It's that's garbage. Pointless. <laughs> Worthless. Yeah. We're going to go into battle round two. And we're gonna see what chaos can bring to bear. I got a plan for the Terminators if they roll well. I need to roll pretty well though. I drew investigate sites, grind them down in area denial. Which might have worked out weirdly well for me this turn. I definitely won't be getting grind them down though. That's not ideal. Ah! It depends on how well my Terminators charge, I guess. In fact, it depends on how well everything charges in general. As for my command phase, uh, we're gonna try Dark Zealotry again on a two. Okay, he's he's tired. He's done his tantrum. We we told him we don't need Benediction of Darkness. We need Dark Zealotry, and we got that. Now for the end of my command phase, we score. I get two points for claimed objective. So we're on two of those, and then you get five points for each objective you control up to two. Is how this one kind of works. So I got one objective, two objectives because the rhino's on it. So it'll give me ten points plus a further four for a total of fourteen primary. Then just an update, I'll be at 14 primary plus one scored secondary. Discari's one scored secondary, but he's gonna get 14 primary on his turn as well. I mean, unless I roll well. I gotta stop saying that, unless I roll well. I'm just gonna curse myself to not roll well. <laughs> it's still what I'm getting at. So we got four to two command points as well. Oh, this should say turn two, sorry guys. Bloop, that fixed. What I really wanted to do was keep my whole army more than nine away from the Imperial Fists so that I could tip of the spear the Terminators into combat and let them reroll their charge roll and give them extra AP over there. But I realized extra AP won't hurt, uh, help, because you have uh, the Crux Terminatus. So five of them won't save. So it doesn't really matter what my AP is against you. They're the mightiest of Terminators, the first legion, the best. The best, the, oh, best. the best, of the best. So I'm just gonna do my turn normally and move my stuff and then see uh, how well this all works out. So we're gonna disembark. Let's try that again without being muted. Exactly, I was gonna the say. The best of the best. You were best. muted for that one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're gonna disembark our chosen and then move them up the board a little bit. That's where they're gonna disembark. Oh, thank you, one more guy. That's actually the champion. I'll put him, I'll, put, I'll swap him with the main guy. We're gonna move towards the land raider. Because I want to, that's a lot of firepower I want to try and deal with for now. Now they're going to move, they're going to try and go for the land raider, but it will be negative two because they have to get through the trenches. We're going to have this, we're going to have the rhino, rhino's going to move and the legionnaire is going to come up here because they're going to investigate sites in the middle. Nice. And, and, uh, Having lots of little units to do actions and stuff, very useful. Yeah, I didn't want to investigate sites, it's not one that you get very often. It's rare. But yeah. you've got investigators and area denial. And the fact draw. that I moved back that one turn is really biting me in the butt right now. <laughs> Get like the, I feel, I feel like, it feels like I just feel like fixed the deck, I swear it didn't. Yeah, okay. it's, it's how it is. Like, you'll, it's, it's the, it's the nature of Tempest. I you'll, always, you'll get the, hold your opponent's objective, like when you're half the way of the board, and then sometimes you get ones you're like, oh, I'm in the perfect position to just score all of these points. Wow, 15 points, no problem. Why it's not? just, I always gripe about investigate sites, area denial, and, uh, Hold, hold your ground or whatever because yeah, they're impossible. The mm -hmm. And then when you can do them, I'm like, oh, I man. I did hold the line I know you game. did. I was mad about that. I'm like, that objective never scores. I'm like, how'd you do that? <laughs> we'll have them all clump in there, start investigating in the sites. Uh, then these characters have got to get their butts in motion. We're going to run our Chaos Lord, who will go... He's going to get slowed down, just go six normally. Just won't be getting him anywhere, really. If I rolled more, I would have probably committed him further this way. We're going to have the Sorcerer Tucka behind him. And then we're gonna move our Master of Executions, running him, sorry, an extra five. And then the Sorcerer is gonna go an extra four. This is gonna go towards the trenches. I'm over here to show this, just with his advance jumping into the crater. And again, we uh, for lockdown, we like to leave the, smoke fell over, like to leave the vehicles on the table and act as difficult terrain at that point. Uh, just because it keeps that, that immersion going a little bit more than the Dark Apostle is gonna hang up behind there. The Legionnaires get off the crater, moving four towards the uh, Rhino. We're gonna go tangle with that for a little bit. And then uh, we're gonna see where our Terminators show up. They're gonna pop in probably over here. Bringers of Despair are gonna show up more than nine away from these Terminators, but Scarry has the one Terminator up front, so I can't risk shooting at them. Thus, it'll be a much harder charge to the back rank. And more than nine away from the surrounding Imperial forces. Somebody abandoned the middle of the table completely. 
Uh, this is where the sorcerer is going to blow his own brains out and do mortal wounds to everything around him. I see it coming. He's gonna. He's where gonna, is he? Where is he? He's right here. Oh, he's right yes. here. Everything. I want him to explode, please. I would very much like it if he did not. So we are gonna go ahead and cast smite first. What are my other powers? I get um, uh, the two attacks and stuff, and then the yeah. so diabolic strength and something else. Oh, it's the gift of chaos. D three mortal wounds to that, then a mortal wound to everything kind of nearby it. I. I think I can get more bang for Diabolic Strength in this case. We're gonna go for a Diabolic Strength. We got it with an eight. That'll target this specific Chosen with a Power Fist. Nice. We'll have two extra attacks and two more Strength. It'll be Strength 10, technically. Love it. Um, and then we are gonna go ahead and go for a Smite, I guess. Technically a little bit easier than the other one. I should've gone for the other one because I got it, but Smite on the Land Raider. Brain Bullets will deal one entire mortal wound to it. 15 remaining wounds, and we're gonna go right to the shooting phase, which is, I guess, where we're at. So we're gonna, I wonder if I could have been smart and put the melta guns over here. Uh, let's start the shooting off with these guys here. Uh, we're not gonna get the plus one to hit on any of these, so the combi meltas are gonna fire just the melta variants at the dreadnought over there, they're within 12. And then all the bolters are gonna fire at the rhino. Two combi shots. Uh, we hit on neither one of those. There's no Lord to reroll nearby, right? Yeah, they both miss. The, sorry, the Reaper Auto Cannon was also going to go for the Rhino. I just forgot to state that boy. He's got four shots on that. We hit once. The sixes don't matter anymore. That is strength, not a wound. And the four remaining with their combi bolters. Here's the first half. Hitting on threes because we're not shooting the nearest. Bla Black Legion get plus one to hit attacking the nearest or whatever they charged. Uh, that's one wound so far on the Rhino at no AP. I don't know if I rolled any sixes, I'll check this one. Nope. And then just two wounds on the rhino. Not too concerned about the sixes on the bolters. Uh no, no damage. I'm gonna fire this unit of legionnaires into the rhino. Everything. We get plus one hit because it's the nearest. Do I want to supercharge? No, I do not. Shoot the three plasma. Uh, they all hit because we're firing at the nearest. We're black legion. Two wounds, minus three. One goes through. One goes through. And I don't think I rolled any sixes there. Not that I've been too concerned about it. Four. Pistols. Uh, pistols, almost certainly they work in this one, so I should be four hits with the bull pistol. And then fives, three saves from pistols. Rhino, three ups. That's one more damage. Down to eight wounds remaining. Excellent. We got no more shooting from that side. These legionnaires are performing an action, so we might as well go with the chosen. Uh, they just have bolt guns, we'll just go into the tacticals back there, but in the cover. Ah, they're all two up saves. I'll do it anyways. You guys get mad at me if I don't do it. Nine shots with bolters because one's rapid firing. Chosen have bolt pistols, bolters, and accursed weapons. The guys with two accursed weapons give up their bolter for it. And the guy with the power fist gives up his accursed weapon. Uh, we're hitting on threes because it's not the nearest. No explodings? No explodings. But... Uh, yeah, no ones either. <laughs> uh, four saves, uh, two up for the tacticals because they got sandbags. They do. And sandbags do. protect them. No damage. Then we got the... Ah, uh, the Rhino's gonna fire everything with the same tacticals, uh, but it's hurt. So we got the Havoc Launcher, which is three shots, hitting on fours. The sixes don't matter there, because it's heavy, I think. And three, so, so far three wounds. Let me do the Bolter, get out of the way, because it's all the same save. One hit, uh, one more save. We got four saves, that two up on them. Four saves? Yeah. No damage. Good. Damn. You guys are uh, trained to kill things with melee, not guns, apparently. So we're gonna go right to charging. We're gonna start with those Terminators. I gotta double check something, but they're gonna declare charging as the Terminators. I, my Terminators and your Terminators, I believe, is the play. I've come to my attention, the Unrelenting Onslaught for the Chosen would have been very clutch, but let's hope we don't need it. It looks like it's a four inch charge into the, uh, I decided I'm gonna go with them first, sorry, the Chosen and the Land Raider. Would you like to overwatch? Nope. All right, so I need probably a six on the dice. An eight will definitely do it down to a six. So I didn't need Unrelenting Onslaught. Excellent, let's save two command points, I guess. Nice. So I'm gonna, charge in here. I'm not going to lay... Risky I'm not, business. I'm not going to chain them back to protect the characters because nothing bad's going to happen to my Rhino and then follow up, nothing bad's going to happen to my characters for sure. Guaranteed. <laughs> Absolutely. That'll never happen to me. <laughs> my cool melee character will not get shot to death. Right, Scary? Right. Right. All right, let's go ahead and charge. Nine charge in the Terminators. Do you think you'd like to overwatch your Terminators into my Terminators? No, I will not overwatch. Fine. Then I'm just going to roll a nine. Oh, it's two command points to reroll that. It's worth it. I'm gonna go down to two. This is clutch if I make it Just in. Just right into the Terminators? Right in. Okay. I got a five and a two. I don't make it, guys. We tried, though. Means the next thing to charge would be the ma them into the Rhino. Yeah, Just yeah. into the Rhino. Just into the Rhino. Okay. 
Oh, there's a nine. <laughs> We're gonna make it in. We're actually gonna take the seven on the charge, go into the terrain a little bit here just to uh, get some ground on. I can't take the objective away because you also have uh, obsec on there, so uh, no real snake in it there, but uh, it's still kind of cool. Can't, I can't stop them from dying because Scar can just place them all right here. So, or failing that, he can put them back there. So I don't have enough models to kill the guys inside. But I can at least, maybe uh, Scar just roll like five ones or something. You we'll never know. <laughs> we'll see. You never know with this game. It yeah. could be like, it could turn on its head in like an instant. That's my favorite. Yeah, that, that's why I like these little lockdowns. Because everything's like kind of crap on the table. Yep. There's not a lot of synergy. So you, you're relying on every unit to kind of carry its own weight, really. Correct. And that's the, the funnest. That's the beauty of it, yeah. yeah. So we're going to go ahead and just fight with them first. Because I, I don't think you care to interrupt with either vehicle. Correct. So we'll just go have them pile in fight there everyone should be good i'll do this guy doesn't have a chain sword then i'll do the chain tainted chain axe afterwards just three attacks on him two's to hit though because he charged uh fives to wound so far one wound no ap no ap on this one that is no damage the guys with chain swords will have 16 attacks because they're four each hitting on twos and no very wounds. nice very nice the sixes do not matter yet so far one wound at minus one i'll do this i got one damage Ooh, much more hits that time. I want to see this roll again, though. <laughs> for that the would damage. Be good. Chain swords! Nice. Three at minus one. Okay, fours. One so more damage. Two in total so far, down to six. Ooh, the champion's gonna have to carry. The champion has four attacks with the tainted chain axe, which is strength five, minus one, two damage. Nice. I believe. Twos, and uh, one. One of them. And then that's no damage. Oh, you're good. All right, that's okay. I, you. You go ahead and Rhino bump me back, and then I'll resolve the All right, well, Rhino bump, I get four attacks because you charged me. I did. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Next. Thing bad's gonna happen to these guys is I pi This is the one who's uh, bolstered by the powers of chaos. Uh, the terrain does not slow you down when you pile in. But if you fight there, we're gonna have you go up that way and a couple guys go around that way. Have these two models not able to fight. They'll be a little too far away, cut off from the smoke. But we'll have uh, coherency we kept all the same. That guy should be there, there, there. Yeah, they're all good. I'll just do the power fist guys first because uh, big strength ten power fist. I got yeah, that's right. I actually got to do him separate <laughs> from the other power fist because he's got higher strength. Thank you, sorcerer. <laughs> and naturally, they will scream death to the false emperor as they charge in, spending one of my two remaining command points to reroll hit rolls against the Astartes. It's got five attacks because of diabolic strength. Uh, Amazing. We get plus one to hit, minus one to hit because we're Black Legion. We charge. So we're hitting on threes with the power fist, but we're re rolling because uh, death, death to the false. false emperor. Oh, it didn't matter on him. Mm. These are threes to wound. So we have three so far. Let me do the other power fist, get out of the way. Yep. He, he'll have just three attacks on threes with a reroll. Yep. Okay, that one helped. These are fours to wound, though. So you got five in total. Five in total at minus three. three. Yep. So five ups. Five ups. There's two damage each. So oh, eight damage. Eight just damage. cranked in eight damage oh. on the land raider there. And that leaves him at seven remaining. All right, we got some tainted weapons here too. So that is the champion. The champion's there. Purple Cloak will be the champion, the same model though. Uh, so we got one, two, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six guys attacking. Boom, into them. There'll be 26 attacks because one of them has two accursed weapons and one's the champion. Nice. This is the real weapon of chaos. The accursed weapon is busted good. These hit on twos with a reroll. Okay, nice. Stri Fives to wound because the strength plus Ooh. one. Okay, so the first half we have six at minus three. Five ups. So that's four, down to three remaining. Can we do it again? That's the first half of their attack. And boom. That's twos to hit with that nice. single reroll. Six don't matter here. Not and then yet. as soon as they kill something, they'll be in they'll be all, all of the, the phases all of the time. It only matters for their bolt guns, though. I guess good, it's no. still something. And they're, they're bolt. Yeah, just their bolt guns, actually. So we have a further four, Ooh. five, six more saves. I have three wounds remaining on this Land Raider. And that is, does Dead he explode? Land Raider, okay. Only in death does duty end, Land Raider. Oh, it's oh. a smoking wreck. Okay, we'll smoke it up and we'll, they unlock all the phases. If I kept the secondary, Crunch. that's actually pretty good though. If actually, it's better for you to have killed him yeah. than not. Yeah. So I'm glad you killed him. Land Raider. It's true, yeah. Well, oh, he would have been hard to move, yeah. I couldn't move him. I'd yeah. have to spend two CP to emergency break. <laughs> Which would have been bad. That would have been bad, So yeah. I could shoot you, but now at least I can't shoot you. Well, they're going to consolidate a wee bit, and I'm going to smoke this guy up. And the Chosen of the Black Legion consolidate towards the nearest enemy on both flanks there. Uh, just ripping that Land Raider to shreds. That will conclude my turn. We got one for grinding down. We do finish investigating the site. You do? As well as area denial kicks Sadly. in. Sadly. Sadly. Those are too clutch that's to a, grab. Yeah, that was... 15 point secondary turn. I'm gonna have my work cut out for me in the, this part of the game. That's gonna be a little rough, yeah. But glory to the Emperor and for dawn, let's crush the traitors.
Assassination is the name of the day. No. Good thing there's a lot of characters nearby that no. I can try and kill, which is great. Boo. Deploy teleport homer to get into your deployment zone to put down a vital teleport homer. I can't really do that this turn. And uh, battlefield supremacy. That I should be able to do. So uh, if I can kill a character, that will be um, 10 points. Which will be good. And if I kill one thing, I can stop you from getting, grind them down as That's well. All you so have it'll to do, keep yeah. it nice and like stay similar and steady. Because you did only get the 10 points, because uh, grind you did not get yet. I will go ahead and do Wisdom of the Ancients once again to give myself real ones to wound from the Dreadnought. He's inspiring everyone with his tactical precision. <laughs> Perfect. Yep. Uh, that should be it for the command phase. You're on two objectives, the one back there and the one over here, and they're both claimed, so that's 14 points. Yep. This is the look of the score so far. Two to two on command points and tied primary. I do have a lead on two secondaries for now. Scar is always on the second half of the battle round, so his score will be a little bit lower than mine halfway through. We got a Terminator fight, it looks like, coming. This is going to be... I, I, this is why I love the Legion Lockdown so much, because they're just little things like this that are so impactful in the game. It's just a really fun time, you know? It's just nice. I enjoy it a lot. Terminator's move. We're gonna have a clash at the lines here. The champion of the Imperial Fist disembarks, as do his company veterans, and they surge up the board as well. Hello. And the Rhino leaves engagement with the Legionnaires, and the Tacticals move up to fight those same Legionnaires. We're gonna have a heck of a fight over here. It's gonna be a fun time. Yeah. Yeah, it's that, gonna be very entertaining. That Master of Execution there looks a little flat-footed as the Emperor's Champion, not the actual Emperor's Champion, but a Champion of the Imperial Fist just comes cruising down the trenches towards them. Yep, and on this side we've got some uh, Predator backing it up. <laughs> I figured as much, that's why I also consolidated over here to try and uh, figure out where you were going to go. Yep. Oh, we have Lore Sap Saporin. Does a, does a little Dreadnought move six? I think they do, eh? The Vens move six, yep. Yeah. The Tacticals leave their Bastion and start cruising up this way. And then the bikes show up. Well, reinforcement step. These were in strategic reserve, so they're going to come take this objective away from me, which means I no longer claim it in the name of chaos. And then they're more than nine away from them, more than nine away from that step, and holding within six of the battlefield edge. I'm going to go ahead and move them out Ooh, nice from behind of the wall so that they don't have to suffer the negative two. All the charge. To charge just them. Yeah, with the predator firing. Into the chosen. Right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just shoot at the chosen with absolutely everything. Yep. And we'll start with the predator auto cannon it first. Is three damage. Okay. Five shots in total. Hitting on threes. Not bad. And wounding on threes. That's only one at AP1. Four up. Oh, we're good. Power good. arm protects us. The heavy bolters. Three. With Six an extra are good. shot. Yep. And threes. And threes. These are only. Uh, that'd be four AP1, at AP1 though. as well. Fours. You do two damage to one of them. Ooh, this guy wants to take that one. Okay. Start losing wounds over there. So then this tactical squad that's moving up is going to shoot everything at the Chosen as well. So we'll do the four bolters first at long range. Very Three nice. hits because of the six. Mooney on fours. These are now AP one. Ooh, these are four ups. Absolutely. Yeah. So that's going to murder the one guy and take a wound on another cool. one. And then we'll go ahead and I'm going to do a crack rocket. Yes. Hit. It does not. No. The spray of bolter fire finishes this guy off. Yep. And we're going to put a wound on this guy here, putting him at yep. two remaining. Nice. So the Dreadnought is going to do two last cannons at the Rhino, and then the Heavy Flamer will shoot at the Possessed. Chosen! The Chosen, sorry. Uh, the last cannons first. Rerolling ones. He has core. To, yep. He's, a son, he's venerable. And on threes to wound, rerolling ones. <laughs> Wisdom! Because of his Wise with Oh my gosh, didn't Hooray. do anything. Oh no. D6. What? Yes. Alexandros. Good job. <laughs> zero, dude. He does. Your Terminators did almost I, the same as me. They, I think they actually did zero yeah. damage, yeah. There you go. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead with this squad. They're going to do the same thing. Same targeting, gotcha. Yeah, yep. two, That's three, the squad. four. They're all in bolter range. They are tap, indeed. Tap, 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 tap. Ooh, no sixes, eh? Oh, never mind. I spoke too soon. Cool. And oh. fours with. Re Ooh. Wisdom, wisdom of the ages. Wisdom. One more, okay. Five. It's nice to, it's kind of nice fighting the Imperial Fist because you never have to look at cover or anything yep. like that. That does kill one. Yep. That means you die. We're mm -hmm. losing all of our fancy weapons, but it's okay. We're trying to make the charge a little bit harder here. Yep. So I'm gonna ahead and do this tactical squad. They're gonna overcharge everything and shoot into you. Overcharge plasma pistol. Good hits. Wounds. Minus three. Yes, because it's a pistol. Six. Nope, nope. That's two damage. Rapid fire plasma gun. Reroll. 
Thank you, my lord. Oh, he's still dead. He kills himself. <laughs> That's and a wound. He does do a wound. That's AP4, so no save. That's yep. two damage. Two damage there. So that means he Ooh, dies, what? this guy dies to the plasma pistol, and then this guy has a wound left because yep. the, the one shot from the plasma gun before he kills himself uh, does some damage. And we have three bolters. And they're bolters. Pew, 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 pew. We roll the ones. And then a fours. Nice. Four ups. That'll do, oh, no damage. Zero damage. So all the way on this side, we're going to do this mess. Um, this entire squad is going to fire into that the legionnaire squad that's as well. Easy enough. Start Here with the melt again. Okay. Misses. Yep. Then we've got bolters and a grab. So I'll do the grab pistol. Hit. Uh, Does not strength five. No. Nope. Yeah. And then three bolters. Alrighty. And he hits because of the six. That's right. And three saves. And that is minus one. You don't care about the cover. I take a damage. I'm like a uh, regular dude for now. Actually, the plasma gun. Three little bolt pistols. Nice. Ooh, nice. And four. These don't have AP though. Oh, they're pistols. That's two. Right. Two. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, save, save. Good. His little pistol. Same thing. Same target backwards. Uh, nope. Okay. Cool. Terminators. That's it for that. Um, I've got the bikes and I've got the Terminators. True. And the Rhino. Oh, the Rhino. And yeah, the Rhino fell back, so it can't really do anything. Come to the bikes. Okay. So these bikes are going to go ahead and shoot every... That Rhino is going to come and be a pain in my butt. So I'm going to do the multi melter into the Rhino. Yes. The multi melter into the Rhino. Everything else will go into the Chosen, and I will be overcharging the plasma guns. All right, so let's do the okay. multi melter first. Multi melter first, hitting on threes. Oh, I should have popped smoke. <laughs> hitting on threes. Oh, no wound there. Oh gosh. Two plasma guns. We'll do the one with the little cape. Hits twice, and the one without the cape kills himself. Oh, God. And then on twos. Two of them. Uh, B4. Yeah, no save at all. That just kills one. Well, it kills one inside. One, unfortunately, well, does. Well, I'll kill the guy that does, has a cape because he's a little. Boy. Yep, so that means you take two. Mm -hmm. And then this guy, the non champion, will take another two. Okay, and the plethora of bolters. Okay, and then, of course, I do lose out, miss out on the guy that was a plasma gunner. And fours. That'd be four. Four, the main minus one. AP one. That's going to be two, three damage. Chosen. You have one wound left. Cool. Three Terminators into the Chosen, and two of them will go into the Legionnaires. All right, yeah, because of range reasons. Yeah. All right, what are we doing first? So we'll do into the Legionnaires first, because that's quick and easy. Hitting on threes. Ooh, lots of sixes. Nicely done. Winning on fours. That is four saves. That's four ups. I like it. are going to crush one and a half of them. That's two in total. Yes. That shot will finish off the Plasma Gunner and that Legionnaire, leaving us with four left. And then the other shots into, into the Chosen. Yeah, we've got half the Chosen dead already. The ones, no rerolls, but we do have three sixes, which is nice. Nice. And on fours, uh, only three. Three, okay. There are four ups. That kills the guy and puts two wounds on another one. You die, and we're going to put two wounds on... I guess we can afford to put on the regular guy now. We just have the champion and two power fists and the accursed weapon. That'll be for shooting. A lot, of, a lot of firepower onto the Chosen, absolutely. Okay, so let's do some charges. My champion is going to charge... Your champion. He holds. You make it. Ooh, nice. That's not good for my champion. That's for sure. Kirk Link. Hello. Now they, I, they only get to fight uh, first if I'm in engagement range of them. Correct. correct. Okay. Yeah. So this tactical squad will attempt to charge your legionnaires. You make it with a nine down to a seven. We'll go. Yep. This way. We got a. That's a good fight. I like that. Legionnaires versus tacticals. I believe the legionnaires might have a little bit of an advantage. You get here. the punch first, though. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and do the. Hmm. I'm debating whether to send the terminators into him. Since assassinate is a thing, I'm going to send the terminators gotcha. into him. Yep. I believe. My poor master of execution. I just want to punch him dead, really, and then just kind of create like a block to kind of give him some protection. An honor guard. Yeah. So let's go with the terminators. They're going to try to get in there. They do. So with that's four. four inches. Yeah. Just have to get five. within an inch, right? Just have to get to there. Technically. Yeah. And you can't heroic intervene or anything. No, not with them. The only, okay. I got no, nothing. Uh, like the that. champions, though, the veterans are going to go into mm. your legionnaires. Are they going to go? Good there? enough. <laughs> yeah. So the legionnaires are currently flanked. Excellent. I get plus one hit. Good old D&D. &D. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't uh, think I have any strategies for these I don't here. think I can make it with any of these, uh, which is a bit of a shame. Mm. So I'm going to go ahead and start with... The champion. I might as well. It's right. that's like that's fun. I'll let you interrupt over here and see what happens. But it, <laughs> I think that would be very entertaining. I, th I might interrupt the champion if he lives. Yeah, but so he has five attacks base because he's a chapter champion. 
And plus one for shock. Shock assault. Assault, which will give him hit on twos. Okay. He's a champion, that makes sense, yep. Yep, and now he is strength five, so he'll wound on threes, but because he's a chapter champion, he rerolls all wound rolls against characters as he does not suffer them to live. That would be four at AP three. Some saves. Oh, we taco cat one of them. Uh, he takes six damage and dies off with his head. Hooray! Clean kill. Champion. Death to the traitor. Boom. Nice. And you can consolidate if you so choose. Uh, he's gonna, side. gonna sidestep just a little bit to get some room for these terminators to be able to mm -hmm. create more of a space for him. I don't think there's much value in interrupting here. It's two command points. Ah, they do. It's like it's kind of tempting, but who's got the He's got the ignoring AP one. He does. Uh, yeah. He's got the extra attack and prolonged combat. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> it's tempting. It's very tempting. But I think I want the command points for the chosen next turn. I'm just gonna take the L over here. Makes sense. And uh, let you beat him up. There we go. The terminator's gonna just opt to fight next just to get a pile in and consolidate. Yep. And then moving on over here. Hmm. Okay, they're gonna go first. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do them. So one, two, three, four regular guys. One, two, three. Four regular guys, look at that. Look how Isn't cute that, that is. Look at how cute that is. Uh, hitting on threes. Good start. And fours. No AP. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. that's three up saves. That's gonna, okay, no damage. Oh, my power fist on fours. Fours, oh, nothing. Excellent. And now the veterans. Now the veterans. Boop, 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 coming blah, 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 in. Blah, blah, blah. And they're all power swords, yeah? They are all Excellent. Power. Oh, I have one. Actually, let's do the power fist first. Makes hitting sense. on fours. Yay! One hit, two. That's Yay! Uh, it's gonna be a six up? Yep. Okay, we Good. actually got that. And then, and I believe this is on two AP threes. AP threes, that's gonna be sixes. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, okay, we're Nicely taking damage. Done. Uh, Power Fist did questionable things there, in both of them actually. Uh, that's it for your charges. Yep. So I'll just fight back with them. I'm gonna put, uh, you have storm shields on those guys? I do. So they're two up, four up, say, that's kinda scary. I will just, I'm gonna try and, I'm, I'll put him, the Tainted Axe guy backwards, because that's like where he's thematically fighting, I guess. And the Legionnaires are just gonna attack the, uh, I'll put one Legionnaire that way and then two fighting the Tacticals. Okay. Attacks with the Legionnaires, I didn't charge, so they're still on threes. These are into the Imperial Fist, Ta uh, Marines. Uh, that is gonna be one wound AP one. Uh, one damage. Go. Cool. The Chain Sword into, I'll do the Champion's attacks with the Tainted Chain Axe first. Uh, I'll hit but one. This and is then, into... These are the, uh, uh, the vets. So these are AP1, okay. so you go back to your three up three of them. And these are two damage? Two damage, yeah. Okay. Oh, goes he, down. he does axe one of them, and then the chainsword guy is gonna wound once at AP1. You just back to three up okay. there. It, one damage, okay? Yep. And one, and one, okay. okay. So, pretty messy. Uh, at the end of the turn, though, oh, yeah. you do owe me some morales. Uh, I owe you a big one over there on the Chosen. Six Chosen. They're leadership 10 on the Champion on the Purple Cloak. Nice. They're good? Nice. You need to roll a five or more to break. Will be turned. You killed. You did you kill a unit? I uh, you killed your your yes. captain guy. You got you. That's a good. That's good actually because uh, yep. you stopped my grind and you get the assassinate. I get assassinate. I do get battlefield supremacy because I do have three models to your two there. You snagged and this I one. I snagged yeah. that one away from you, so yep. I will get ten secondary points for that. Matching me. And actually. I will be getting rid of a deploy teleport Homer All because right. that's um, not it's not really going to happen until later. <laughs> you can't be stuck with cards or you're in a bad spot. However, you do get rid of grind, so I you do. will be able to draw. Three, and you will only get a 12 this time. That's true. So I, it, at the end of this turn, it's a dead draw. It is. And I'm gonna have to make some magic. I think I have some magic I can make happen on my well, turn. I wasn't able to touch the Terminators, and you did make a lot of I, 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 I crushed it on this. You're thing. making Luca rolls today. It's fantastic. Not only that, you kind of crapped the bed on your shooting. That dreadnought. I lost two plasma gunners. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, whatever. It That's was not good. ideal. <laughs> it happens. Are you gonna go to the Assault Doctrine? Uh, no, I'll stay in Tactical Doctrine for another turn. All right. Uh, even though I can technically stay, you can stay it forever. as long as I yeah. want. Yeah. But having all these bolters be AP1 is good for me right now. Understood. Yeah. All right, here are the three cards. Behind enemy lines, that's two units behind enemy lines for that score. Extending battle lines, as well as storming hostile objective. 
Definitely hostile objective, simply taking an objective away from Scary. So I'd try and work towards that one over this there. This is probably the easiest one for you to take. Yeah. Especially I, since I was unable to get these Legionnaires off. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so I, that, that keeps both of us with OPSEC on there, so the Terminators just have to kind of swing around and get more models on there. On the flip side, the Legionnaires could do the cool black uh, Legion. I take, I, they have an aura of no OPSEC. Mm -hmm. I could do that as two command points, though, and the Chosen are kind of command point hungry this turn as well, so it's going to be kind of a tough call. Uh, but I'll, I'll make that decision. I have to make that decision kind of right now. Uh, and then we have to extend our battle lines. We've already kind of accomplished that with the middle objective. And then we need to get two units back. I only got the one, though. Then again, this guy could, like, uh, reveal that he's been from the Red Corsairs and advance and charge this turn if I so choose as well. That's two command points. I only got three. I don't think I want to do Confluence of Traders yet, so I'm going to just do the Dark Zealotry on the Dark Apostle on a two. He got it, so that's a reroll, hit, roll aura for Corrin characters. And that'll be everything relevant over there. Save the command point on the Black Legion strat to take away Obsec, because I think I can just muscle my way over there with some Terminators. And then we're going to mosey on to just the movement phase, I think. Oh, that's scoring, though. So I'm, I'm on two objectives for 10 points on primary, and I only have one claimed. So I'm only getting 12, so I am falling behind on primary points to Scary now. We're in score, dead tie on secondaries, and uh, technically a two-point deficit on primary, assuming Scary gets the 14. On the movement, we're going to keep it simple. Regak, the soul leader, is going to move towards this bike squad and reclaim this part of the battlefield, I suspect. All right, we're going to move him there. And we need not an ideal charge. I don't know. It's like seven or eight-ish on him. Our sorcerer. That's a damn tough call. What does that sorcerer want to do? So they, he's going to move there. That's where he's going to end up. And then we're going to advance this rhino. It moves, I believe, six inches. Plus three. Advance the Rhino here. It'll get, it'll be, it was within 10, so it'll make that connection there. Nice. These Legionnaires are just gonna move up and they're gonna claim this objective. Ah, uh, don't you dare. Uh, they will dare. <laughs> Walk into the trench and they'll try and claim it. Well, not try, they will succeed. Uh, and then our Terminator's gotta move. Moving up and around, the Dark Apostle jump into the trench as well. And then we are gonna go to the Psyche phase, where hopefully our Psyker does not blow his own brains out. It's gonna be difficult. <laughs> Let's go with a smite. Good enough. Nice. So we nice. hit the bikes. Yep. Uh, you take D3 brain bullets, two brain bullets of bikes. Cool. Uh, attack bike, regular bike. Depending we'll on the attack bike. Measuring the charges for Regak, it'll be seven through the difficult rate, so it's a five inch charge. Yep. Minus two, or it'll be seven to the bikes uh, on a straight path of avoiding the terrain. So it's kind of the same either way. Uh, his second power will be Diabolic Strength. Got it with a seven. Nice. Uh, oh, I forgot to move these guys. Go ahead. <laughs> Before I do that Diabolic Strength, the Diabolic Strength is going to shoot, target the Power Fist here. Again. Again. Nice. And when they move, we're going to use two of my command points on Unrelenting Advance. That's the Black Legion one. When they move, advance, and charge, uh, they can... Um, what's it called? They can ignore the modifiers. I should have revealed that they're from the Red Corsairs this turn on top of all of that, but I didn't. That's in so the you're spending phase. all three CP on them? Just two. Just the two, not the one. He was kind of part of the plan. It was debating on him or them to be uh, on, uh, from the Red Corsairs. So they, they'll spend all three command points. That means they can advance and charge this turn, and they ignore all modifiers to their move when doing so. That's awesome. So that's all three of my command points. So they're going to go ahead and just go one on the advance. Uh, means they move seven. Double checking the two paths I can go. This guy going up and around. It's a rather difficult charge to get back there. So this guy over here is going to be the one to move. So we'll just go like that. We'll move you there. And then everyone else is going to be lagging behind a little bit. This is the, still the guy boosted up with attack. Which is I the guess. one that's wounded in there? Uh, that's this guy. Okay. Oh, I know the guy in the front. Okay. So power fist. So if I overwatch oh, and kill him. Guy. Oh, okay. No. Sorry, it's supposed to be that guy. <laughs> okay. Because it was the power fist, yeah. Because it wouldn't yep. break coherency. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to not break coherency. But it looks like a broken coherency move. So we're going to have to go something like this. And then keep him back too. There we go. Should still be about the same as charge. That's what it'll look like. And the wound is on this guy. No, it would still break coherency if he dies. But they can fix with the charge. Uh, anyways, it's like this, all the same. And then uh, we're gonna go to this, finish the psychic phase. He got diabolic strength. And then we are gonna move on to shooting. I right, don't have a whole lot of that. They don't have any line of sight, really. You guys are performing an action. I don't care to do a single bolt pistol. All the Terminators should probably shoot. To the side to get a better view, we'll go crack grenade from the Dark Apostle. He misses. These guys have pistols, so we'll go. Not going to supercharge any of it, so we'll do three bolt pistols into them and the plasma pistol as well. Yep. So plasma pistol hits, wounds, minus three. It kills the one guy. I have three bolt pistols, which hit and wound, no AP. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. 
Uh, just the one day. You could make it a save if you put it on the guy in cover, though. Well, I guess that you got makes two sense. guys in cover, yeah. Sure. There's no damage at all. Yep. And then these Terminators are going to fire. I think they're just going to put everything into the Terminators also. So I'll just do combi bolt. I'll just do everything. Keep it simple. Makes sense. Yeah. Do the... Plus it's the nearest target, so I get the bonuses to hit. I'll even split fire the combi bolters in the melter. Why not? Here's the two melter first, though, on threes, because it's plus one, minus one. Okay. Uh, that is an assault weapon. That's three hits. Nice. And twos, I guess. Right to your Crux Terminatus. Ooh, it does through? kill two of them because it's minimum three damage. Yep. Pop, 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 pop. And then we have all the bolters. I'll do the two that split fire first, which is four shots because of combis on threes because of negative one. And that's going to be two wounds, no AP. Two ups. Good. Reaper, which moved. Uh, two more saves that I think it's minus two, but you're in cover, so three ups ish. No damage. Just killing the power weapon instead. They're Absolutely. converted, so I didn't notice him. But, oh, yeah. Uh, the, he's usually the first casualty. The power, yeah, the, still, the sergeant always dies first. <laughs> yeah. The remaining combi bolters are hitting on twos. And this is the first half, fours. We got three into, okay, three plus seven in total. Two ups. Oh, no. Oh, no. Combat. Take that. One damage. We'll be it for shooting. As I said, they're doing the ac action on the middle there. We're going to go right to charging. I'm going to start with the Dark Apostle is going to charge the Terminators. Yep. Would you like to Overwatch? Um, no. Uh -huh. Good, thank you. He'll take a four. He can go five straight. He'll take a... He'll just go right in, I guess. Yep. Ah, uh, but that guy can hero clean intervene. I dude. can. In there, we are not going to stop the hero convention. We can't really do that, but we just we want to fight anyways. I like it. And then the Black Legion Terminators are going to charge. It's going to be risky. We're going to go for the veterans and the Terminators. Okay, that's a six-inch charge. Do you no. want to do it? Yes or no? My gut says yes. <laughs> no, my gut's actually telling me no, but my my it's like my mind is telling me no, but my, my body's are, telling me I'm yes. I'm gonna let you make this decision. <laughs> I'm not influencing does, this at all. Does wisdom? I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna say no. I, I'm gonna go just for the Terminators. Ah, oh, come mm. on. What would you would you go for the term? Would you go for both? Yeah, you would. But but you're. You make your choice. I think I think I'm gonna go for just the Terminators. Yeah, it makes sense. Oh, oh I would have made it. I would have. That's close though. That's kind of. Yeah. So if I failed this roll, I would have charged nothing. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and just opt to just to kind of pile into them ish. Yeah. yeah. Oh, let's fight. I want to get a couple towards the objective, but that's about it. Pushing towards that objective to help influence the numbers, mm -hmm. and then a couple of other important charges. Bloop bloop. Go right into the tacticals on the objective back here. Six inch charge back here. Ignore all the modifiers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Seven. Ooh, Excellent. they make it. So we'll just go keep you. Blow. There's one dead squad of tactical marines. <laughs> and there, and then we have the seven inch charge on the Lord. Yep. Rigak rolls a 10. Nice. He's so mad. Uh, uh, he doesn't want to commit to anywhere too dumb. He doesn't want to really be slowed down by terrain either. So he's just going to go to there, I guess. And uh, he'll try the murder make over here. Ooh, we've got a heroic intervention. Mm, I can move six. Oh, he's so pissed. Arr, come here. Suppose I'll just go first with the Terminators. Yep. We're going to have a few of them pile in. Let's take that move that to the other side. Or this guy can burn there. And then just get a few more guys kind of coming in here. That's where they're going. So we are going to have this guy is going to fight from there. And then the only one's not fighting is Dummy here. Actually, just Dummy there is not fighting. He'd rather just stand on the objective than throw yep. hands. Well, let's go ahead with the Power Fist and Chain Fist first, and then we'll do all the accursed... No, we'll do all the accursed weapons first. We'll see where they land. The Terminator's accursed weapons on twos with a reroll, and sixes are extra hits because we're in the third... That was not a six, that was a three. They're two stick because they're Black Legion, and they charge. Rerolls for the Dark Apostle, who is not going to ever do Benediction of Darkness. Two more hits in there. A threes to wound because they are accursed weapons. Thirteen wounding hits with accursed weapons. Eight wounds in the unit on oh, fives. Yeah, fives. So like, you, you got him. Got him with the accursed weapons. Turns out the accursed weapons pretty good. Dead, 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 dead. And they can consolidate, but I don't think I want to do much. And then if anyone was curious, none of the attacks could have been allocated to the champion where he was. Even though he heroically intervened, none were in range to hit him. Uh, these guys have to kind of go closer this way, so they will. Try and keep coherency a little bit. And the stuff got banged around a little bit. <clears throat> Just piling like this, that's the split. He's got to go that way. These guys will go into him, I guess. Why not? Because it looks cool. And uh, keep it like that. You, oh, I guess, any interrupts? I will be interrupting. I but I won't be up. interrupting over here. I'm going to interrupt into your chosen. This is a tactical interrupt. You're going to allow Scarry to shift away from the uh, the bulk of the fighting here. Essentially. To kind of mitigate so the amount of damage. So he has to go kind of there. But he'll end up over there. And then I will be going there and there. And then he will just essentially jump down. down. Yeah. 
Excellent. Okay, so I'll get three attacks back. I'm trying to kill one to prevent yes. one. Yes, this is good. I like it. Because he's the one with the... No, he's the, he's the super powerful. He's the buffed up one, because yeah. this gun, this one moves too far away to be targeted. That's yeah. why I didn't pick him. That's my champion. This is the one buffed up. Okay, so six attacks hitting on threes, re-rolling ones. Okay, no ones. And then wounding on fours, re-rolling ones. Wisdom of the Ancients. So three armor saves. Oh, oh no. The Luka okay. dice. That is, that people, is a shame. Crap, what was that? I, I did a couple of games of Sigmar, and people were, no, it was heresy. People mm -hmm. said that uh, these should be banned from, even though I, I literally just came out of one of the my longest. Dice, my dice roll really well, too. It just depends on when they roll. Exactly. Right? right? So it happens, you he, know? It just all depends. Don't forget, guys, if you were to count every die roll throughout the entire game and categorize them, you'd have a pretty even spread. It just depends on where they land. Yep. It's not like I'm manipulating them to roll like well and plus i just got out of like the longest losing streak i've had you leave my dice alone <laughs> Solid. to get all of them within yeah yeah, yeah on the objective on the objective i will no more interrupt i'm over here i'm just gonna fight with these guys yep. okay so this the souped up one will not make it unfortunately if i rolled a little bit better on the charge you could have but this is still good we got three of them fighting these tacticals I'll i will be uh, using a command point oh yes what are we doing i don't a know what pain is a lesson Giving them a six up feel of pain. Ah, to split up the damage on the power fist, maybe. Yes. Excellent. Because mm -hmm. I will go first with the power fist. He is going to have four atta three attacks because they're chosen. Yes, exactly. Three attacks because they're chosen. Uh, three take because we charged. Uh, nope, because you are Red Corsairs this turn, sir. True, I'm not Black Legion. Yes. That's right. That's right. You know, you know what? It didn't matter. <laughs> but I got three hits. Uh, we are going to go ahead and wound on twos. Oh, only one of them. Six up. <sighs> and uh, six up feel no pain. Six ups. He no, punches one in the you face. You crunch one. And we got crunch. two of them crunch. fighting. Crunch. Sorry, this is the wounded guy over here. That's the champion. And we got two of them fighting over there, which is going to be four, nine attacks between the two of them. Nice. Threes to hit. Ooh, the twos. Uh, but we got three sixes in there, so these all hit. Nice. Threes to wound. Ooh, Ooh no. That's fantastic. Eight, eight six ups. Mm. So they're pretty much six up re rollable. Door knights. <sighs> I was hoping for at least one six there. <laughs> And the feel no pain. Okay, you have one wound left on a guy. <laughs> and then we'll naturally... Uh... What the fuck? <laughs> oh, Chosen! What is going on? Uh, we are just going to stay here, I guess. We're already on the objective. You're obsex, so I can't do anything about it. I'm just going to hope you fail him or I'll check. Yeah, that's yeah. the big one right there. <laughs> uh, I'll just go over here with Regak, the soul leader. He's got a plethora of attacks. So he has D3 extra attacks for his one warlord trait fighting the Imperium. Or Paragon of Hatred. I well, almost forgot he had real charge rolls for the same thing earlier, but we didn't need it. These are going, he's Black Legion. So these are two, back to two's hit with the Thunder Hammer. Got three ones, but two sixes. And then these are going to be strength eight. So threes to wound with a reroll because of uh, the Paragon of Hatred. I'm just going to have a casual uh, six saves there at minus two. Uh, five ups. And then we'll f every fail is three damage. So that's kills. You just get him. I just, he just kills the unit. Yeah, nice. he, he doesn't even get to use Gorse of X. He's got his crazy sword, which he didn't get to use. Oh, no. He heals D3 wounds. He's not hurt. He's, he, yeah, he's just going to go towards the enemy. Rawr, rawr. Oh, he's probably gonna die, but whatever, he killed something. That's all I need in the game is for my big killing leader to kill one <laughs> thing, and then he could die, and I'm happy. All right, let's see. Uh, I guess I still get to fight first with my apostle. Yeah. All right, I'll hit you with my uh, apostle stick. Cursed Crozius has five attacks on twos. Nice. Uh, Reroll for he's a chaplain. And we have three, three more hits. Fantastic. Because <laughs> we hate the galaxy. Fantastic. <laughs> Three's to wound with it. Uh, and we're going to have, these are just AP1, so Four. five saves. Five? Cool. Yeah. And uh, he takes two of them? What uh, kind no. of saves? He's got the, the shield. He's got shield? Gotcha. Okay, yeah. I have a combat shield, so he takes zero damage, actually. Excellent. I'm not going to bother rolling the little guys. I don't care about them. Uh, now I get to fight you back. Are you going to attack the Terminators? No, the of course the not. He's oh. a character killer. <laughs> Hitting on to... Oh, sorry. I'm going to start over here. Oh, fair, yes. Yeah. So both of the, champ the veterans are going to... Because they got charged, they get an extra attack. So they will yes. have their three attacks each. I didn't charge the veterans. I piled Oh, them. sorry. That's yeah. right. You did not. So they... Uh, no, I'll start with the, the tactical marines then. One whole attack each. Yep. That sergeant's got two, though. Yep. So we'll go ahead and do them. Oh. So threes to hit. And fours to wound. That is a... Uh, one save. Trying to get rid of that one guy. Not nope. Quite. Power and fist. Power fister. Hits he twice. Hit this time. Very nice. Ooh, one. one wound. Six up. Yep. Crush his face. Got him. These guys fighting. I'm just going to have the one guy we're based there. He'll fight over there. And then these two are just going to fight this direction. Yep. Uh, 
I really want to hit the, yeah, I'll just, whatever, I'll just do that. I'll do the chainsword and the fist first. Uh, we go, okay, naturally there's going to be, the apostle's too far away, but that's going to be four hits. Uh, five hits, actually. This is, yeah, yeah. And these are two wounds and minus one. Four hits, four hits, I think. I grabbed two wounds, one wound. And it's going to be no damage. Cool. And then we have the chainsword into these fists. Hitting on that, five hits on them. The, the, sorry, the, the vets there. Two saves, back to three ups. One damage. Cool, kills the one. And then we'll have the tainted axe attack next. That technically has to, uh, same, I can't, one You can do either or, because there's yeah, one guy here. There was a guy there, so you got four attacks. Who are you attacking? The, the vets there. Okay. We got two hits and uh, no wounds. Okay, right. nice. nice. Well, he tried. So yeah. Now he gets to swing. The vet. Veteran. Uh, two. two hits. A one wound. wound. Six, that's the damage. Cool. And we're gonna put that over here. Oh, and the head taker! Hooray! The champion of the fists! Two's to hit. A good start. And three's to wound you. Probably. With re rolls, because he don't like you very much. I am a much. character. So four of them at AP3. These are all invulns. Uh, Go, champion! Oh, you do one. kill a little guy. <laughs> oh, it's a unit. That's right. Then he's just gonna pile into the trench and over then there. base him. Okay. okay. We got a big morale check over here. Ooh, I lost four friends. You're leadership seven. I believe I am. No sergeant in that no squad. No sergeant. Will he bravely hold the line? It's a big deal. No, oh, oh, he flees. That is bad news. That's bad for the fists. So we we take away their sticky objective and the claimed objective, and we do the same to the fist on that yeah, side. Yeah, that's going to be a big fat zero for primary next turn. That's a big push for the uh, black. Big that was, push. That was for a black good Legion. one. That was very that very was good. A damn good that turn for the black Legion. Good for you. Yeah. So our secondaries, we get extend our battle lines. I don't have any morale checks. I, I think I'm good everywhere. Uh, we extend our battle line. We don't get behind enemy lines because I only have the one unit back there. So I didn't. I'm going to get rid of that. I don't care about that one. And then storm hostile objective. We got it on two fronts. You so did just get the five points. Yeah. So we got two of our secondary scored. We're pitching the one, and we denied some primary on the third turn for the fist. Well, here we go. We have raised the banner. Don't think I can do that this turn, sadly. Um, storm hostile objective. That I should be able to do just by, you know, killing those possessed and um, no retreat. No surrender. I am an Imperial Fist. There is no retreating or surrendering. <laughs> so that's math. perfect. Beautiful. Update on the score as we go to the end of the command phase. Unfortunately, no primary points for the Imperial Fist. I was able to wrestle all the objectives away. Three to five secondary as well. One to one command points. The Black Legion are taking a point lead on the third battle round. Mostly due to the circumstance over here, you're not making like any feel no pains, any real saves. That was like, well, and it, a bad morale. It's check. okay. It's, yeah. it's all good. You know, I actually. It, to be honest, it had nothing to do with this. It was me making a mistake on their move and oh. not leaving one model. So that's something I can control. I didn't even consider that right yeah, now. So yeah, so it was. It would have been having two models on there you just to make one. sure, yeah. just to make sure that if you killed one unit or the other, that that was fine. Um, anyway, but that's, you know, you live, you live. That's true. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then the rest of it, yeah. So no retreat, no surrender. No one's going to retreat, I guess. And then, uh, you're right, kill them off, kill the Chosen, you get the objective back. Yep, that's pretty much going to be essentially what happens, I hope, with round, uh, this here. Round one of shooting, they got hammered by a majority of the army and they were able to survive, so I rolled rather well, but I don't yeah. think we're going to see that again. I think we're going to see the end of the Chosen here. <laughs> and then here comes the Predator. Here we go. Dreadnought kind of... Oh, is that? No, you should be good. Yeah, you can get an extra two. I was curious. I'm like, yeah, we were taking a negative two, but I'm, I don't think you have to take a negative two. Over okay, there. so there you go. Okay. Don't like that for me. <laughs> I'm going to try. Not Alexandra. Alexander, there you go. Oh, Alexander. I keep Alexandra. calling Alexandra. Yeah, yes. <laughs> it's, uh, it's an exciting time to be alive for the Terminators. Um, so over here, we do have this rhino. Now, this rhino does have guns, and it's still at full capacity. Oh yeah, he's just a little hurt. He has like a little bit of paint chipped on him. That's right. He's, mm, I keep calling them Legionnaires. These tacticals are moving up. Yep, that's right. Oh, at a, there was a point in history where they would have been Legionnaires. We kept the old uh, heresy kind of formation. Uh, they did not. It's going to be a fun time. That'll be it. Okay, well. Shooting. Let's do some shooting, yep. Yeah. I'm very excited about this, actually. I'm going to go ahead and shoot his pistol in a combat. Bring it on. Hit. Hits. And that's a was wound. one wound, and uh, so the other safe. Oh, because the bolter. Hits. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Just tap, tap. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Pop, pop, pop. That's a wound. Yes. It does kill that guy off. Good. Excellent. Good. <laughs> oh, no, I can't reach it all. So we'll do this mess into here. Uh, that's one, two, three bolters. Hitting on threes with rerolling ones. <laughs> Two more hits. Yeah. The bolter discipline. Oh, Fours. man. 
I didn't realize how cool that trait was. It's just like you spam Four. bolters everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Four saves at AP1 still. Four ups. Uh, that's going to be two damage. Yep. That'll finish you off and put a wound on. I guess it uh, doesn't really matter. And yeah. now overcharging plasma pistol. Boop. 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 Hit. Boop. Boop. Wounds. Uh, six up, I guess. Maybe. Yeah, die. We got two left. So we've got the Rhino, the good old faithful Rhino. He's going to shoot his bolters at these legionnaires. Excellent. And the Hunter Killer Missile. <laughs> Right here? Yeah, he's just gonna go for that rhino. Oh, okay, the pork. So, Hunter kill a missile into the rhino. <sighs> That's five points ever? Ba-boom! Three to the... Oh my... AP, is that three or something? Something or big, I would assume. Yes, five. at least three. Let me check it. Ooh, I wonder if it's like a crack missile. It's just AP2, I don't, I don't know. know. Catch Scarry live, sad. Is the Hunter Kitty? Hey, hey, <laughs> man, read the book. Is it AP2 or AP2? Man, I don't know! <laughs> <laughs> if it's AP2, we're gonna be sad. Hunter Killer Missile. Hold on, I'm finding it. Uh, I'm hunting, finding it. Hunting the Hunter Killer Missile where, profile? Where are you, Hunter Killer Missile? I have no idea. <laughs> I honestly thought it'd be a lot quicker to find it. is you. There it is. AP2, damn it! Uh, <laughs> it's like a cracked missile. <laughs> no, I rolled the five. Okay, so he lives. All right, all right, all right. All right, we got the bolt. That over. makes me so sad. I know, <laughs> I can't, I can't. Well, miss, miss. Oh my gosh, Might that rhino. Well. Might as well. Boo. Oh, that rhino. I need to kill the rhino because the only thing in range of that objective. <laughs> it's the only thing I have, yeah. But you, and he could explode and kill him. <laughs> that is very, very true. So I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, so I've got this rocket launcher. And I've got the bolters themselves. So I'm gonna go ahead. I have to start taking out these terminators or these guys. I've got him. I got last cannons. I I've got too many targets. I'm going to send my paragon into them. Might as well. You know that'll be the charge. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, like that, like him. Yeah, so the, the captain, auto yeah. cannon. I'm gonna go ahead and do. No, you know, Dreadnought. He's gonna do the double last cannon here, the heavy flamer into here. All right, Let's so just try get rid of it. So two last cannons into the Rhino. Twos! Does hit twice. Does he wound? He yes. does wound twice. AP three, so I need uh, mm. sixes, sixes this time. Not even close. Two D6 a damage. Good enough. Seven, does it? Explode! Come on! Yes! Oh, he goes sky <laughs> high, everyone. Yeah. Uh, you roll the D3. You want boost. me to roll it? Yes. Three die, up. sorcerer, die! Oh, he's consumed yeah. in the place of the explosion. Does it hit your own? Nani! Yes! Come zoom! I think he's got four left. <laughs> <laughs> he takes a little bit of that blowback. Awesome. Boom, and then that's a crater. Oh, he's already crater. technically on a crater, so let's leave him there, I guess. <laughs> Extra smoke. Excellent. <laughs> His little pistol. Pew. Into you. Hits. Wounds. Ooh. Who are you putting it on? Uh, I, I'm gonna. I, I pretty much have to always put the wounds on those guys. Okay. It's okay. a four up save because okay. doesn't have armor. Oh, oh, oh. nice. Because if I put the save for anyone curious, if I put the save on the acolyte, he has to take the rest of the wounds or the. Uh, only for this phase. So it'd only be if he failed it, then he'd have to keep on taking. Well, it. if he's wounded, don't have to keep allocating wounds. Correct. So only if he fails it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He'd so have to fail it. It would yeah. be the risk. <laughs> yeah. Be, yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, that was fun. We got the um, heavy flamer. No, oh yeah, we didn't do that. <laughs> yeah, had the I got really excited for that. Three's to wound. Oh, uh, two. two. Of them. I don't care. You don't care about the cover. So AP one. one. Fours. Yeah. Are you roast Yeah, one take it. Regular dude with a okay. chainsword, I guess. Forget to say that they finished <clears throat> playing that objective, so that's what that little marker is going to be for. Okay, so now I've got these tacticals. I'm going to go ahead and focus their fire on this oh. unit over here, I uh, think. Where's that crack missile? Same thing with the crack missile? Uh, Yeah, I'm just going to shoot. So just four bolters and a crack rocket. Jokes on you. So those four bolters. Those legionnaires love crack. It won't hurt him. And <laughs> one move. One. They... Bam! Oh, it's dead. no, he's dead. Rocket launcher. <laughs> they got their mouth wide open. Missed. No. So now my predator is gonna go. Uh, auto. Uh, so heavy bolters into here and three damage auto cannon into your terminators. Yes, sir. So we'll do the auto cannon. Uh, five shots five again. Five shots again. Nice. It's consistent. Consistent. At least. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, nice. Three too students. bad it's not an auto, uh, it's not a bolt cannon. Uh, that'd be two. Okay. Add AP. Pretty sure in the heresy it does count for the Imperial Fist. Oh, it's really? an auto weapon. Oh. You get the bonus for it, yeah. Ooh. Uh, two of them. They just th forgot over 10,000 years how to use auto cannons. We should fail one and make one. Cool. Uh, who do I want to pop? Probably a regular guy. Let me let me inspect. 
I think we just, yeah, I guess we just leave it on him because uh, the cover, obviously we don't care about the cover. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's fine. That's a regular guy. Okay, auto cannon. I mean, heavy bolters. Heavy bees. This one's for Joe. Threes. Oh, three. Because oh, like, no matter how much they try to use the trenches, it just doesn't <laughs> seem to work. <laughs> they don't understand it. Where do they know where to shoot? That kills two of them. Yeah, we'll lose you Blah. and the plasma gun because I don't suspect he'll be worth anything. I'm going to use their pistols in the combat. Let's um, start with the little grab pistol. Oh, sad. Oh, that's a cool and pistol. And three little pistols. Okay, okay. a hit. Nope. Nothing. Okay, right. fine. I'm going to bring us the charging. Let's go ahead and get the Paragon in. Let's try and make that charge. Oh, she does. Rawr. That's our Lord Lore Sodin. Rawr. Solon? I can't remember his last name. Poor. Tacticals are going to go. Protect. I cannot interrupt. Fight with the captain. Look how Let's go. Look how brave he is. Go in with him. Look how glorious his red cape is. <laughs> you must follow him into combat. Follow him. <laughs> no. Dreadnought. Alexander, no. Let's go, Dreadnought. No. <laughs> that's it, eh? Yep. Okay. Uh, that's all I got. Well, where do you want to so start? So charges first. Mm -hmm. uh, let's do the Dreadnought first, actually. Oh, very fun. Okay. Okay, Dreadnought, you've fought in thousands of battles. Nice. He's done this song and dance before. I hope that he has. Hit with fist. Work. <laughs> nice. Crunch with hand. Kill enemy. Make sad. They're all dead. Crunch. <laughs> all right. As much as I claim that objective, no longer. Rawr. So he has always fights first, so now he has to go next, because yeah. that's after the chargers. Um, well, you can, yeah, you got these chargers to do as well. You yeah, do either, yeah. Oh, him, yeah. Because yeah, he, he technically has always fights first. You always do a charger first, then always fights first. Oh, I always thought charges. they just lumped them all in together. Okay. Yeah, kind of, but not really. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> so twos to hit. Okay, and good start. Please to woo. Please do not kill my. Oh! Five. I've cut him down! Oh, we killed the little guy. Yes. And I take two wounds on the big guy. Nice. The guy dies, and you. Down to three. three and then up. I will. Boop. Around. We're going to move on to the charges over here. Okay. That's... The tactical Marines are very excited to support <laughs> their. Uh... <laughs> Or supporting. Well, his tacticals. Let's see if they hit well. Okay, okay. They're paying attention in Not combat bad. school. Four Fours. to wound. Not bad. Five. Three ups on the chosen. Ooh, That's going to kill one. Very nice. I guess we'll keep the champion because that feels the most fitting. Even and then the power up. fist. Fours to hit. Ooh, two of them. Nice. And, and two. twos to wound. Oh, this is the, the revenge of the tactical yeah. marine. No! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dead. <laughs> the ignominious end for and the chosen. they go three. Like. Like so, but that does allow him to pile him in, to yeah, go get back six in inches to basically go back and hopefully come back and be part of this game for later in the game. It looks like our warlords are pretty close together there. Yeah, <laughs> I challenge you, foul chaos. <laughs> He's got less durability than yours does, but a lot more hit. Yep. I'm going to go ahead and fight with those legion. I think the only thing I have are the legionnaires. So I have him, but he'll fight last. I am going to put all of their attacks into the uh, tacticals. The tacticals. I will... Uh, I'm really debating. No, it's fine. Go ahead. Okay. I will start with the axe, because why not? He's yeah. got threes to hit. Okay. Okay. And a wound. Nope. And okay. then we got the chain sword, which is threes to hit. Hey, two more hits. Ooh. Uh, Ooh. I would like to see that on the tainted chain axe. All about where the dice land, you know? Uh, nothing. Okay. The veteran. Somebody veteran. Hit. One hit. Oh, shoot. One wound. They both wound, yeah. They're either no, one. no, it's only, they only hit on threes. Yeah. So one. One. Good. Good. Okay. And then your legionnaires. I'm going to spend one CP for Death of the False Emperor. Oh. And by Death of the False Emperor, I mean Death <laughs> of the Traitors. Death to the Traitors. So here we go. We got uh, three. Let's do the Power Fist first. Two attacks. Hitting on fours. Rerolling. Rerolling. Come on. Oh. Well, he does almost kill one. He does. Okay, he kills one. We'll keep the champion Flat. alive. And then three attacks. Rerolling. Thank goodness for rerolls. Needing fours. Nope, won't be enough to kill you. A damage though. Yeah. I'll get all four plus the fifth model and the sixth model on the objective to my like three-ish. At four at best, so you cool. get the objective back. I need I need to stop you from scoring some primary after what you did to me. It's true. I'll only be getting seven now instead of the 14 I had lined yeah. up. Yeah. Which is nice because you stopped Still really good it. though. Yeah. Uh, and you get to fight with your My Apostle! Now something I completely forgot is your minus one to hit me and you're only wounding me on fours. Ooh, I didn't do any damage last time. Yeah, that's yeah, good. but yeah, that's nice. but now I'll remember. Correct. Yeah. Hit you on threes with a reroll. 
And they all hit. We had extra. Thank you for the extra hit. You're very welcome. <laughs> well, you could reroll it regardless. It's true. You, know, you don't have to. Four is to wound. Ooh. So it stops one of them. That's five saves that's, at three ups. That's pretty good. That's not bad. It's not terrible. Oh, he takes six damage. <laughs> I think he's dead. <laughs> he tried. He did well, his he very did, best. He did pretty good. He oh killed, my god. He killed the other champion. So he showed his yeah. martial prowess there. And then he got beat up with the nerd at the stick who, who talks loudly. He did. You <laughs> murdered him. He's dead. That's it. What did we get for secondaries? Okay, so secondaries. I wasn't able to raise the banner. Mm. I did storm a hostile objective for five points. And I'm currently working on no retreat, no surrender, which Excellent. I will hold on to. However, I will be getting rid of raise the banners. How do you feel about the Assault Doctrine? Um, I still have boulders. Uh, do I want the Assault Doctrine? Yes, I want the Assault Doctrine. Right. My Terminators are gone. That was like the main gotcha. like, bolters that I needed. So yeah. now we'll jump into the Assault Doctrine. And turn four. My command phase, I've gained a second command point, which will allow me to use Heralds of Doom on that one Legionnaire Champion that lived with Sad. one wound. Sad which then gives him an aura of no so obsec. close. So he keeps his obsec, takes it away from the tacticals, yep. which means at the end of the command phase, I'll score a second objective, but I won't be claimed. So I'll gain, uh, and then I have to do the Dark Apostles, uh, Dark Cellar Tree. Five. Do we get it? Nope, we fail it. because I do have a- uh, Plus one anymore. Sorry. He has one extra attack. Oh, we didn't do his attack. Yeah, I only rolled two. He has three because he's a sergeant. Ooh, let's do it. Okay. Bop, Does bop, he bop. hit? Yes. Does he wound? Uh, no. Sad. Okay. That's what the <laughs> dice dictate. That's what we get for forgetting. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> but we correct that in, for all the comments. That, cause that was a huge, that's a huge moment. Yeah. That's absolutely something we have to correct. It would mean that I'd save myself two command points. But Harold, uh, I'll go down to zero command points. Scarry will be at one. And uh, I will claim that objective in the name of chaos. And I'll keep control of that one. Yep. And I failed the dark zealotry, which is kind of a big deal. I rolled a two. You're up to 38 points, eh? Yeah, I'll be at 38. So that means I'll get a, a cool 45 on turn five. I'll, I'll max it out I, uh, with a seven on this one. Yes. Yeah, unless you stop that. Which, which it, I doubt that'll happen. It looks a little difficult. So that, 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 that two points is like an extra five to the 45. It's massive. Yeah. Yeah, it's Ho big. Hopefully that just gives me the win, I hope. The two command points, because I would like to do fun things with it, but the five points is a little more critical. Looking at the score, I gotta show you my cards actually, but uh, I'll have zero command points, Scarlet will have the one. I go from, I gained 12 points, so I was at 26, I go to 38, Scarlet's at 14 still. You'll be gaining some on this turn coming up. Well, you know. <laughs> Not. I did my best here. <laughs> you did. You did. You did pretty good on that turn too. Yeah, it's not you, bad. You hammered me pretty solidly. There's uh, a couple of key moments. I can't wait to like digest in this the post game psychologically. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a psychologically draining game. A lot of like little things that are like really annoying <laughs> came up a lot. And I forgot to look at the cards earlier, but they're being kind. We got no prisoners. Kill thirty wounds worth of models. There's not a whole lot left on the table, but we can work towards it. Defend our home objective for two player turns. Scaries including mine and securing no man's land, which is a. Uh, Two or more objectives in no man's land. That'll be, ah, that's doable. It's kind of boring though. Pretty much just have the Chaos Lord go back here for secure no man's land. And we have to, it means we have to keep fighting over there though. But we got the Terminators to kind of clean house over there. Uh, defending Stronghold will be back there. And then killing 30 wounds worth of models will be the next goal. I don't know what to do about that, that Dreadnought though. That's kind of a pain in the butt. We're going to go right to the movement phase. And we're going to advance him. Because if I roll well on his advance, something interesting could happen. I need like a five or a six though. Ooh, 12. I can't advance and charge with him, but I can walk obstack on that objective. He'll advance onto the objective. He's got the Conqueror's Cloak, which gives him obstack. That's one of his relics. Well, it's like an aura of uh, obstack for Corrin characters. And that is it for him. He won't be able to charge, sadly. He'll probably get shot at and killed, but he'll have an impact on the game in the middle there. And then we're going to keep them back there. And then we're going to move our Terminators. Apostle winning this glorious combat in the middle is going to move four inches into the trenches. He's like, boop, to there into the trenches. My champion did get stuck in though. He did not show fear. He didn't, yeah, he, did, he pretty much didn't stop swinging his sword <laughs> until he got brought down. The entire time. Carving through, sh -sh 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 -sh. everything's dead, it's glorious. Okay, uh, then these Terminators, they either go commit to the Dreadnought to try and kill him off, which would be pretty clutch, but that means I'm relying on these guys to work over here, and that's gonna be kinda hard. I had Dreadnought's a massive pain in my butt. But we want to clear this. I want to, I want wounds. I, that's only worth eight. This is worth more than eight. So I'll just come. I'll come this way. I'll move. Shift over here. Try and kill all this off. That's where we will finish our move. And then uh, I got nothing to do in the psyche phase anymore. Sadly, so we're gonna go right to shooting. He's gonna fire his plasma pistol into that veteran. Uh, misses. Okay. Well, good thing I didn't supercharge it. And then all the shooting from the terminators. Oh, the dark apostle. 
No, I'm not going to bother with him. Let's do all their shots. We'll do... Ooh, the Meltas backwards would have been clutch if I was smart, but I wasn't. So we're going to put the Meltas into the Rhino. Both the Meltas and the Rhino. Just the um, single variants. I got to do them separately, though, because this guy is not the nearest to the Rhino. So one is, one is not. So I'll do the one that... Is. And then all the Bolters are going to go into the Tacticals behind me, I guess. And the, the Auto Cannon will go back there, too. The only thing I guess plus one to hit will be the single Melta shot here. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. <laughs> the other Melta shot on a three. Uh, wounds on that should be no save. Let's, let's say before. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So uh, you get to roll plus one, four damage. plus two, down to two. Two wounds. Auto cannon backwards, hitting on. Nope, none of that. And then we have the bolters and just three bolters. Uh, okay, they all hit. Nice. Our rapid fire is not part of the claws anymore. And uh, oh, pretty good roll on wounds. Like they're really six. seven actually. Oh, six. That's a that's a that's a three. Twos. Take that, tactical. <laughs> One, One wound. wound. We'll go right to shooting. Uh, charging, I mean. Uh, let's try this Dark Apostle charging the tacticals there. Anything weird? Just a no, 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 nothing weird. Ten! Oh, for chaos. Nice. The Terminator's going to declare a charge against the... Uh, I'll go everything. It'll be minus two of the charge. I'll charge all three of these. I want this guy to come Do you have any rerolls? No. So if you roll Snake Eyes? It's over. They don't go anywhere? They don't go anywhere. Amazing. Yeah. You ready for it? How about a, you know what? That didn't, that didn't work. <laughs> the same roll. Just, just rub it in more. Just rub it in more. I'll just take that 10. Okay, we're just going to filter through this way. Oh, friends, it is sloppy over here. We got wounds all over the place, models all over the place. It's glorious. I have no other charging. We're going to go right to fighting. I'll start with the Terminators. And uh, I got to figure out how I want to allocate these attacks. We're going to go Power Fist here. Pow, Chain Fist here, I guess. We'll do these three into the, that's way too much, <laughs> to the one wound veteran. I'll do these two into the one wound veteran, these two into the rhino. So two, 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 even split on okay. that. I will. Six pain up Pain is a... Uh, pain, pain is pleasure. No, no. <laughs> Whoa, what no, is it? No, no. What is it? What is it? Depravity. <laughs> so I feel no pain on them. Yeah. Uh, I'll do, I'll start with the power fist and the chain fist into them. Uh, I can, uh, I have to do the chain fist D3 damage because it's dumb. It's not on a vehicle. So we'll do him first. Be okay. Two more hits. Oh my goodness! <laughs> we'll just crank a bunch. Of <laughs> woof, woof, spicy. Woof, spicy. Two. It's a little hot in here, Luca. Five, six up saves. Five. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, that's uh, four of them. Four of them, and then you know they got so the first one. First guy dead because he's got a wound. Oh no, no, you're right. That's my wound. You're good. <laughs> you're good. You're good. You're good. Second one, he eats it. Oh, he nice. He dies okay. now though. So that's two more to go. Yep. So one dead. Third one dead. Dead. And fourth one. Oh, lips. nice. Lips. I only killed two, boop, boop. and I wounded one. Nice. So I can put this wound where it belongs now. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Not my dark apostle. <laughs> bloop, over there. And then we are going to have our, let's do the two, which are, one's a power fist, one's an accursed weapon into the veteran. Let's do the power fist first. Yep. Did not get the reroll off, so these are threes to hit. Uh, I got three hits though, because I charged. And two saves at four up and one. Into who? This is the vet. Okay. Uh, he has storm shields, I believe. He does. Oh, there dead. he's dead. So he goes down. And then we got You got the Templar brethren, sir. I did, I did. They're gone. We got these two to deal with here. I can't do much about it though. Uh, we have these two attacking the Rhino with their accursed weapons, which is also eight attacks. Twos to hit it because they charged. A couple of misses. And these should be fives to wound it. That's gonna be five, uh, four saves at Oof. six up. Alright, it does. Does the explode? Does it go boom? Boom! No, no. not quite. No, very, very tame. 10, 11, 12. <sighs> so that's 14 wounds for the uh, no prisoners. Uh, I won't be able to fight with the chaplain, but he'll pile in all the same. Yep. You have nothing. A little closer. You won't. Uh, too far away. He was outside of an inch to attack. Okay, my attacks. Yes. Okay. Well, I'll just leave him alone. Okay. This. Oh, go I got it. charged too. Yeah, you got charged. Yep. Um. Yeah. Everything into that. Does the obs oh! Does the obsec go away? It goes away until my next command phase. So it's for your whole turn as well. And who has it? That, that one legionnaire. Okay, so if he, so I needed one of those to hit. Yes, you okay, did. Okay, that's okay. Or one of these to get we've through. We've got, we've got two of them. Oh my god! Oh, he lived, dude. I quit. I this quit. This is it. No, that's no, no. Ridiculous. He lived that, dude. There's no. Oh way my gosh. You did the right pulls, and oh gosh. I needed, I needed him to die so I could get the a ten. Yeah. Like I needed that ten. No. Oh, that yes, yeah, so that, that aura is still in play. It's a swing now. Oh my gosh, he gets to actually yeah. fight. Forgot about him. He hits on threes. You'll have five hits nice. and threes. These are two damage each, too. Yes, sir. Three of them. Three. Minus one. He you kills. got him. Oh, no. Axe, no. Axe. Two of them. Oh, they have field no pains. Six eyes on him. So he takes two. 
And, and the other one? Okay. Okay, so you didn't kill him. Yeah, Bye-bye. Yeah. Boop, boop, boop. All right, well, so it's uh, salt in the moon now. That's just, you know, that's how it is. Well, that's a further... Force. Luca just never wants to play me ever again. Nope, nope. <laughs> 22 points for no prisoners. Yep, that's not bad. Yeah, not bad terrible. Are you going to hold on to no prisoners? Uh, However, you did kill him, so no... I get my no retreat. You do, surrender. you do get your no retreat, no surrender. Absolutely, you do. <laughs> nice, good job. Yeah. Uh, I do, uh, I have two objectives in no man's land. So that's uh, secure no man's land done. Mm -hmm. And then I am halfway to defending my stronghold. Yeah. So as long as they control that, I'll get that done. And no prisoners. I gotta kill eight more wounds worth of stuff. I don't know if I will. I might just get rid of it, honestly. Sound weird, but I'm gonna get rid of no prisoners because I don't think, I'd have to kill him. And I don't think, I think he's gonna move away. I don't know. I'm not gonna kill anything on my next turn. I think, yep. I think my turn five is gonna be relatively tame. I, oh. We have nothing left on this table. It has been a bloodbath. It is. It's been great. It's been fantastic. Freaking slaughter. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's dive point. into this. Well, kill three things we're shooting or combat. Fine. Uh, secure no man's land. Okay. And uh, that's that. Okay. In the command phase, mm. Skari is there's no, nothing to. Do you want to use Wisdom of the Ancients? I I've got one command point. I'm really no because I want to re-roll a charge roll. I think that's I That'd think that's two command points. To oh, do that. that's right. So I can't do that. Um, that is expensive. It is. So do I want to do Wisdom of the Ancients for re-rolls? Like that doesn't matter over here. It doesn't really matter over there. Oh, this is gonna be so tight. Um, I really want to kill him. No, come on, why? <laughs> but I want to. I need to kill these terminators to have a chance at like being able to do something. I'm gonna shoot it. Probably shoot him to death. That's fair. Um, He's only got four wounds. <laughs> yeah. And then my dreadnought just moves four, so that's a decent charge. And then yeah, I'm gonna go reroll ones to hit on him. Wisdom of the Ancients for the uh, Captain Aura? Might as well. Yeah, gotcha. Captain Aura real wants to hit Excellent. on him and then to try and get in. Scoring on your side, you gain five points for this That's objective. It. That's, That's it. That's all I get. Showing up the score, that puts you from 14 to 19 to my 38, unfortunately. Yeah, so the maximum I'm going to be able to get here, I think, is going to be a 14 uh, at my turn. Yeah, you'll be able so to score. So I'll be able to score down. 33? No. Uh, you'll get into the 30s, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but that's that's still not going to be enough because you have 45. I'll be getting 45, though. So if, it's really if you roll, like, terrible cards on turn five. On turn five. Yeah. Because you're getting five more. I, yeah, if you can't take Seven, my secondary, yeah. So that's, like, and I'd need to score, like, pretty much everything. Okay. It's looking rough. Fun times. Yeah. So I actually have to send him this way to get my secondaries, which is weird to think about. But Yeah, because uh, he'll as long as he kills him off, he'll gain that objective. They're going to run. They are gonna, they sacrifice themselves dearly to stem the attack. That's not gonna be enough. Literally not enough. Wow, what do you need, a two? No, no, because it's minus two, right? Oh, okay, so, so they I go six, right? So How five, far away from the, how far, oh. Right, so third. I'm over, I'm over nine. So they well, I'm move. like literally just within nine. So they move six. So you four. You need a two up. No. Oh, you're, are you? I need a, I need a, uh, I need a five, I think. Oh, you're outside of nine of it? No, I'm just either just outside of nine, I think. Okay, so if it's if you're ten inches away, hypothetically, you move. Oh, sorry, four. I needed three. You sorry. need to be within three. I need to be within three. One, two, three. So I needed a six. I needed a two. Yes. Yes. That's what, that's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you needed a two on that advance. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sure. Ah, it's not going to be today. Oh so my they're going to go this way. But I don't need your pity, Luca. I don't need anyone's pity. So for anyone curious, the play was to get an obsec model within three of the objective and then shoot my legionnaire who's obsec off of it, thus swapping it to the Imperial Fist Control, and then he would take this one. My away. lord will advance. Jeez, what is going on? They're slow. Slowing. They're going to do their clear the objective. Oh, yeah, they're going to, that's claiming it makes they're sense. They're going to claim it, and then this is just going to... Drive up and over. Lots of, this way. lots of guns pointed at him and them. Okay. So we're going to do that. The auto cannon will shoot the terminators, and then the heavy bolters will shoot the one lone, gotcha. the one lone guy over here. So we've got uh, heavy bolters into the one lone guy. And for, on threes. For Joe. Four ups. He's got one wound. Oh, God. He is a beast. <laughs> I don't know why he won't die. It's awesome. I love it. Oh, my God. And then we've got the auto cannon. Five shots again. That's actually not bad. It's been very consistent with that. Into termies. Threes. And threes. Three. That's three, three of saves. Every yep. kill's a dead guy. That's the punks, two of them. That's nice. Not I don't control that. Kills three of them. Nice. One predator, auto cannon just punked. Dug -a, dug -a, chaos dug -a, dug -a, dug -a, but yet couldn't kill the one obstacle. That is also very true. Okay, well, I'm just going to go ahead and do the heavy flamer here. And the last cannon is going to shoot that one guy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, do I want to shoot the terminators? Mm -hmm. You know what? I should probably shoot the terminators. Okay. I'm going to shoot the terminators with the twin last cannon. Two hits, needing threes. Oh, two, oh. sorry. Two. 
Uh, two invulns, five ups. I will save neither. D6 on the first one. Who's uh, taking it? Uh, it'll be auto cannon guy, I guess. Right. First guy. Nope. Okay, then and he is dead. He dies. All right. He gets pierced by two of them. Okay, and then heavy flamer into your lord. Yes. Ooh. Threes? Nice. Oh, five of them. <laughs> Dreadnought's pissed. Go, Dreadnought, uh, go. He takes. He's dead. Yeah. <laughs> he just died. Yeah. <laughs> he died in the flamer, dude. <laughs> Bo! Hooray! Hooray! But the souls! <laughs> <laughs> Great turn, though. That was tough. Ah, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna roll. Sure. I, okay, on I, a six. I owe you morale. On a six, they oh, run. Four homies. Oh, no. So close. It was teetering. Yeah. It was teetering. <laughs> I seen it too on my side. Yeah, yeah, damn. All right, so what do we got for secondaries on your um, side? Well, I got zero. I got nothing, okay? <laughs> I needed those guys to advance to get there. They needed a two-up. They yeah. needed a two-up. You know what? And, well, I also needed him to die. So, oh, yeah, and that double failed, actually. So, just saying, yeah. it double failed. So. Oh, wow, <laughs> yeah. okay. So, with that in mind... I think my turn's up. I just passed my turn. I'm just yeah. gonna go and get rid of all of my cards. Yeah, yeah, fair. Sad. It's reasonable, I Makes guess. me very sad. But that means I do get to fence Stronghold. You do, those five points there. there. I'll go up to two command points. I'm going to draw a teleport homer, capture enemy outpost, and assassinate. Yep. I don't believe I can do a single one of these. Uh, the assassinate the character is too far away to really get to. So I'm going to spend one of my two command points at the end of the command phase uh, to get rid of one of these. I'll get rid of capture enemy outpost, I suppose. I actually get no retreat, no surrender instead. That is rather doable. We'll go for Dark Zealotry on the Apostle. We got that. Nice. And then for scoring, I am on one objective for five points. I'm on two objectives for five, and it's claimed. Well, you're going to get your 45. That'll give me the 45. Even primary. with just the one. Just the one, yeah. Because it's claimed and you score it. That's seven. That's which seven. would be 30 45. 45. So the only thing I have Spicy. to worry about is I've have, I have seven out of nine scored possible sa for max out secondary score. Yep. I can only I do no retreat, no surrender right now. So Which you should be able to do because there's not really a way for me to for like make you fail a morale test unless I get really lucky over here. You'd have to go for them, yeah. But even then, like if you don't spend this command point, you could just keep it for uh, yep. heroic bravery or whatever. So my uh, my the only thing I'm gonna really go for is they're gonna move away from the objective. They're gonna tuck away further away because I don't really need to risk standing on it anymore. Yep. And then those terminators are they're gonna move towards the tacticals. They could charge off the objective. That's kind of want to fight, I guess. So I'm gonna go ahead and do all that. If you could just move them towards your tactics. These guys? Yeah, they only move like three or whatever. They move the oh, that's three, that's yeah. right. Because they're real slow. And then the Dark Apostle will pop out four, and we're gonna try and charge the other one, and then we're just gonna end our turn. All gonna just move forward and we're all for chaos, madness, and charge. I, like I, I don't really need to do anything on this turn. I think I just pass it, but we're gonna go for fun. Do I wanna shoot anything? Yeah, yeah, sure. I'll put the, I got the two multi melters this way still, because uh, they're still alive, and then that's it. I only have two Terminators, eh? Yep. Right. I will fire both variants. Yeah, I'll do the bolters first, actually. Yeah. Bolters hit on threes because it's the nearest target, and we're firing two things. And uh, two saves at no AP. I don't Good. kill anyone. And we have the two Meltas hitting on threes and twos. Uh, it should be sixes. It'd be four, so sixes. Kills one guy. And the and other one? Does three damage to another one. Kills two. Bam, bam, take that. Imperial filth. Blah, and a blah. Just forgot to do, but I did mention these guys are going to They're just going to get out of line of sight. They're going to hide even further away from that. Yeah, makes sense. And uh, got a couple charges. Well, I'll start with the Terminators. Would you like to Overwatch? Um, no. All right. Well, it's going to be negative two to my charge. I got nothing I can really do about it. Uh, that's a fail. All right. The Dark Apostle will try. Would you like to Overwatch him? No. All right. He's in a roll. A, a nine. He nice. actually might make that. Yeah, he does. All right. Just slam him right in. Yeah, that works. And he's going to smash face. I will spend my one to... Feel the pain? Feel, yeah, give six them a six up. up. Pain is lessened. Two, they're not negative to hit, are they? No. Boom, they all didn't hit. Didn't you fail? Oh, you didn't fail it this turn. Uh, I did not fail it this turn. Yep. And then these are threes. That is four wounds at minus one. Okay. So four ups, he kills. Maybe he kills two of them. Okay, so first one. Boom, boom, boom. No! Second one. Kills one. Nice. Boom, boom, boom. Mm, blah. And then you fight me back. You're gonna use this to try and snag the objective away from me to get more points. Well, it doesn't. It won't actually matter. <laughs> um, hitting on threes. And winning on fours. Two, two at AP. Assault Doctrine. These are fours. I save one, fail one. He's got two remaining wounds. Nice. And uh, you owe me a morale check. Lost I three lost guys. Three. Very good. good. Heroic bravery. And Heroic. Good. And then keep on going. Do that there. And okay. That will be the end of my turn. I am halfway to doing no retreat, no surrender. Mm hmm. And I'm going to get rid of my other objectives, even though that doesn't really matter. And we're going to go on a Scarry's turn five, and we're going to see what he draws. 
Ooh, actually, good cards. That's not bad. These are all doable. Grind, hold the lines, defense won't hold, which will happen at the end of the game. Yeah. Because so there hold. won't be another turn. This is this is interesting because it goes well with grind. Yeah, what well, you have to kill, all of these are within 24 of your deployment zone. Yep. So you just have to kill those three units. I have to kill this that. to score my points. Get all 15. I am definitely going to get them within three inches. Retreating. Excellent. Because yep. I don't need, I'm not worried about no retreat, no surrender right now. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be exciting. This okay. Is, this is cool turn. I do have one command point. And Skari does score his primary at the end of his turn because he's going well. second in the battle round. So the Dreadnought will move <laughs> up like this. <laughs> Staying within range of the objective. Yep. Uh, he's got three and two. Look at him go! <laughs> That'd be nice if he can make it. These tacticals are going to move up. They might as well. They've got all of the guns in the world. And then I'll be at two command points and Scurry's at one. And the Predator advances so over the sandbags. Yep, and of course I already hold that because troops were on it. Yep. So That's it's sticky thing. already. Yep, yep. So it looks like pretty good. You're going to get your 10 points for sure and you're going to get the extra two for the claim. Mm -hmm. So that's already mm -hmm. locked in. So, well, actually, before that happens, this guy's, I have to make sure he's just within. Six, gotcha. Yeah. Okay, reroll. So, let's do this unit first. Excellent. So, I'm going to go ahead and do the plasma pistol here. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the bolters at the, the one wounded guy. <laughs> you think you're going to kill him? Yes. <laughs> so, I'm going to overcharge my plasma pistol. Yep. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. Does chaos protect do it. him? Yeah. Go. Oh, yeah. I have two command you points, do. technically. You do, you do. I'll re- uh, Do I care? <laughs> I can't fail the morale anywhere, and him living's kind of clutch. So whatever, I'll re-roll it. Okay. Chaos uh, protects him. I have no command points now. Okay, though. the bolters. <laughs> Needing fours to wound. <laughs> One armor save. Three, Do I get four. him finally? Yes! Oh, he died! Right. It's the 84th bolt around that finally broke his all power armor. <laughs> and you, you removed him, sir. You get the honor. Boom. Get out of here! <laughs> bye bye, Legionnaire. Oh that guy goodness. got me so many points. He was <laughs> so silly. I tried to kill them so long. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and do. Good job, Tactical. The Dreadnought? Yes. Last cannon? Boom, boom. Flamer. Flamer. All right, bring it okay. on. So, last cannon? Boop, boop. Captain right there? And wounding. Two of them. Two saves. Nope. D6 okay. on the first one. Who's taking it? Oh, back guy. This guy? Yep. D6. Dead. Front guy. Second guy. D6. Oh, ah. here's both of them with the last guy. <laughs> okay, the Dark Apostles <laughs> got the flamer at him. Okay. If he can kill him, that's literally this Red has killed more in the entire army. I actually probably killed the most of everything, yeah. <laughs> go flamer. Oh, here we go, baby. <laughs> <laughs> this is Dreadnought's killed yeah. so much. Three? Uh, three of them. Three at AP1. Four ups? Yeah. He's dead. Oh, he's oh, got a wound. He's got a wound. Oh, woo. One wound left. Woo. Okay. And okay. now it's Predator turn. It's going to be everything. I can't, like, I can't see yeah, them. They're, they're too far back. Okay. There. Auto cannon. Toka, 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 three toka, toka, shots. Three's tip. Okay. <laughs> three's to wound. Oh, the bolters. Heavy bolters. The Come on, Predator. Way. You got this. Couple of misses. Toka, 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 toka. Three's to wound. Three of them. And these are minus one. Oh, come on, baby. Boom. Yes, I he got get, him. He gets shot down. So that means you get hold the line, <sighs> grind them down, and defend stronghold. So you've got all three of your one, secondary scores. Two, three. And, and the, then I will get a 12 at the end. Because you score at the end, so you get five, seven, plus five, 12 <sighs> well, over there. I gave it my best shot, okay, folks? <laughs> Let's see how close it is. That was though. a damn good end game. However, you will be getting defend uh, your stronghold. Uh, no retreat, no yeah. surrender. No retreat, sorry. Yeah. This is nuts, guys. It's exact. <laughs> because you know, that three secondary score at the end, we're tied eight to eight on the secondaries. That means we get 40 points on secondaries. Yep. I take the win on the primary there, 45 to 31. Oh, buddy. what? 14 a... point. That was literally, that was... That was uh, f uh, f seven and seven. That's 14 right that's there. That's right that there. That's a tie. That's, oh, that's a win for you, actually. The turn and then I the, lose those, yeah. Anyway, that's, that's that's post -game stuff. What a game. Let's hop into oh. the post game. Very close. And in the Mini Wargaming Vault, to go along with this battle report you just watched, you better believe we got more Warhammer 40k to go along with it. It'll be Luca against Nathan, Necrons against Orcs in a quickly put together fun little narrative mission it'll be 2,000 points we've got a big game here and if you're not a member all you have to do is click on the link down below to get yourself a seven day free trial where you can check out this battle report as well as all the, all the other content we have in the vault to go along with it thanks again for watching i'll catch you next time very soon and enjoy the post game
so we've uh, we've uh, brainstormed a few of the, the things that could have changed. This game was so close. Any little die roll was a swing in the Imperial Fist favor. Like I was like I had like just one better die roll than Scary essentially in this game. It was That's crazy. I felt like yeah, it's one fail morale that turns it from a fourteen to a, a four a seven point win. Point no no oh. point win for you. Yeah. Yes. Then a two on an adv extra advance gives me a two point loss plus another additional two for scoring that in the next turn. Yeah. So that's a dr draw, just there. Like him those two morale, rolls. that's yeah. a draw. <laughs> yeah. anyway, what that's, a great that's game. That's how close it was. was so really the final close. score is the Black Legion actually gets a perfect score. They get 100, the Imperial Fest get 86. Uh, not, not 100, because you only scored eight. Oh, so you're right, yeah, five less. So yeah. 95 to 86. Yeah. Or you're a little 80, bit less. Uh, 81. One. Yeah. 81. That's a damn good score for both of us. We that's both very, played the game good. pretty well. It was just a couple die rolls difference there for the Imperial Fest. I want to say thank you to that Dreadnought for being an absolute oh monster. What did he kill, dude? He, he killed uh, my, both the characters. He killed the Rhino that exploded and killed the Sorcerer. Yes. He killed three characters <laughs> and your champion killed the other one. Yeah. 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 Uh, and, and then he went and killed your Super Warlord. He did, And yep. then he flamed with a, just with a heavy flame. The flame killed like, both the characters. Burn! Yeah. And then I honestly think it really, really came down. Your first turn of shooting was pretty good. You kind of like, didn't do much on the second turn of shooting, but then you picked it back up on turn three. Yeah. It was like that weird speed bump on turn two. It was, it was not killing room. them on that second turn. Yeah, the legionnaires over like, cause there. Like, because yeah. there was there was a six legionnaires. That was a messy fight. It was, it was, yeah. it was, it lasted longer than I was hoping, because <laughs> it kind of bogged everything down, and then yeah. your terminators were really come in and just clear that flank, which is what, you know, I'm glad I was able to get rid of those, um, those uh, chosen. I'm surprised you didn't auto pass morale. Like you, you actually rolled for their morale, which was risky. It was, yeah. It was, was a uh, risky play. Cause they, <laughs> you could have. That was that was not something I would have done. Uh, Cause, but, okay, I can't remember. There was five of them left, right? No, there was four. There's four. So you I lost, lost six. six. So on a five or six, they're bravery failed. ten. Yeah, five or six, they fail. On a, there was a one in three chance they fail, and yeah. then you would have lost one, and then ones and twos on attrition. Oh, they're black legion again. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, yeah okay. black. So, so it's only ones. ones. Yeah. Okay, so, so maybe maybe two would have gone down. That was so, I was thinking about it. I was definitely thinking about it. But like, that's a one in three chance. Play a lot of blood bowl. So I'm like, ah, whatever. I'll go for it. That was sometimes those one dice get really like like a knight to the heart to the end of oh, you. Oh man, <laughs> what a great game that was. Oh. That first turn shooting though, that rhino lived just a little bit longer. I was, I was hoping to pop both. And yes. then one was alive with four wounds. It was this one, one over was here. This one and died there. Because I wanted to try and pop it to kill. If you can get one chosen yeah. inside of a transport and kill one or two, that's three wounds for each one Money. that you roll. Yeah, yeah. So it's pretty, it's pretty spicy. It's yeah. pretty spicy. I, I loved everything about this game. I was a little worried. Like I was hoping my list wasn't a little too strong for like the random nature of it all. That Lord rolled some pretty good stats there, but everything else was kind of whatever. The Terminator showed up. They just fell over. Like those Terminators, I don't think they made a single save. They just fell over dead. You look at them. That's a Terminator dead. You, you know what? <laughs> this, this predator gets a little He bit. did like, so much, dude. <laughs> I've never seen a predator do that. Well, turn one. He almost killed. killed that whole squad. I you rolled did. like a monster. Oh, I did. No, what? you rolled so good. What finished them off though? The uh, the land raider. Oh, the heavy yeah. bolter from the land raider finished. That's off. right. But yeah. like you, you got like six shots and got like nine hits. Yeah. <laughs> the bolt. Oh, the bolter that drill. That was nuts. That was everything awesome. like that. So the, the the list played a lot better than I thought it was gonna play. I liked everything about it. But you know, with like the the the, the changes to the points and everything, it kind of like as you can see the changes they've done to the game. Even playing our, our little lockdown format. Dead close game. Just a few die rolls are a little different. And I really enjoyed that. That was fun. Yeah. It was a great finish to our I ninth know. edition Legion lockdown with two classic. Uh, however, I think next time we'll try to get Imperial Fist versus Iron Warriors. So we that'd, more, be, uh, that'd be cool too. Oh, the Iron Warriors ended up fighting the Iron Hands in our in this in this in this mm -hmm. round of it all. That was uh, a lot of them really cool. I can't remember what the Night Lords were fighting. Uh, Alpha Legion. No, no, the Night Lords were fighting... Uh, White Scars. You're old. Oh, Salamanders. Yes. It was Salamanders, that's what it was. It was Nurgle versus White Scars, I think. Oh, man, they're all... I remember all the games, because you had the guy on the bike and everything. Oh, and that, there was like, that big flanking yeah. bike maneuver the, the, that I ran had in. all and... the runes over here. Yeah, I remember. Oh, man, the games are so vivid. Yeah. Yeah, I remember them all. You just say the game, and I remember. Because yeah. I remember we did the World Eater game for the Space Wolves. I was kind of like... That, that Assault Intercessor Squad just, like, <laughs> blew right through all the Berserkers. <laughs> I'm glad we redid the one that we lost or whatever. The that Alpha Leaf really versus Raven Guard. It turned out to be a really good game. It was yeah. really, really intense. And oh, like, yeah, the, the Alpha Strike. Sort of it was like the, 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 the knife to the throat kind of uh yeah and move. it just like you you it and then that leviathan dreadnought just oh like, my just, you know, gosh like, just 
I'm <laughs> everywhere killing everything, dude. Uh, I can't wait. But thanks a lot for watching. And let us know what you liked. Which one was your favorite? Yeah, like, put let down, us know. Yeah, put them in the, load up the comments. If you see a vote that you would put down, just thumbs up it. Yep. I want to see all of that. I'm going to put a clip in the beginning of the video, too, because I want people to, like, get interacting with that. So, like, you know, people taper and off. if you'd like us to yeah. make a Legion on Legion, you know, be like, I want to see this Legion versus that Legion or this chapter versus this Legion, let us know as well. Yeah. If, if it's got enough votes, we might, yeah. like, make it happen. Correct. Instead yeah, of exactly. randomizing it. And we'll just, do, we'll just do the same format, randomizing everything and, like, using kind of... It's all about using iconic stuff, right? Yep. So, like, everything you had... Like, you had a bunch of tacticals and bolters everywhere. I went with, like, a Terminator kind of chosen build for the Black Legion. No marks, nothing, just, like, well, infantry and transports. I will say that my favorite part of this is randomly rolling World of Traits, Relics, it's, yeah. Psychic Powers. It's forced us to learn how to use things that we would probably never use yes and then sort of build an army or try to make the most out of it instead of just being hyper like Focus efficient on one thing right? yeah, yeah exactly yeah. that's 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 kind of what takes me out of 40k these days like the the hyper efficiency of all where you get to select every little minor part of your army mm -hmm. you can really kind of and mm -hmm. then that's where like familiar build starts coming in and net listing and things like things like that you just kind of see the same thing over and over again like obviously packed of flesh and like stuff like that like mark of you uh, might as yeah. well just have one power that you get to Correct. choose because that's the one it'll be the best one every yeah. time i rolling stuff for anyone who's new to the hobby new to where i'm 40k you never got to pick any of that stuff in like the last 30 years of the game it was only these last six years you got to pick them yeah yeah oh there was like very few options or yes. they had like something you, it was in. relics where you had to pay points for because they were all oh you, that's right you'd have to buy them like yeah. the black mace on a demon prince yeah, was like yeah, a 75 yeah. point upgrade yeah, or whatever yeah, stuff yeah, like that yeah. yeah you had like your big list of war gear that had like points associated to all the war gear and then the relics were like you yes. take one of these. You pay for this, then you yeah. can upgrade it for an extra 50 points, and now it does this instead. And they, they were, some of them yeah. were really good. But ran, Warlord traits were, and Psychic Powers were always random. So you couldn't build around like getting a Biomancer with Endurance or something like that. You'd have to like roll it. Then it kind of came to the point where people were like, I only really want to play with this, and that's kind of where today's 40K lets you pick things. It's all yeah. the youngsters that don't know the olden days of things. <laughs> right? <laughs> the Grognards coming out in me. I don't mind picking. Picking's absolutely fine, because yeah. you always get complete it's, control over what you yeah, play. It, it's, it, yeah. It is feel bad when you're like, I would like this to happen, and yes. you roll it, and it's like, ah, and then you just feel like it's useless. Yes. At least we've been rolling and then sort of building a list sort of around it. Yes. So you can kind of pick and choose things that you want that help within that, you know, instead of rolling it at the, at the, on the spot. Yeah. So, but that's fun. Yeah. I enjoyed that. Exactly. I, have yeah. a, I had a lot of fun This is that. really good. I, I really like this. I look forward to the uh, next rendition of it too in the upcoming edition, which is uh, as of recording this, you know, not too far away as everyone's well aware. Well, Warhammer Fest is literally Right this, now? This week. Tomorrow? No, no, something? it's next weekend. Like this weekend. Oh, this weekend coming up. They're correct, yeah. So I'm excited to see what comes out of that. It's going to be a lot of fun news, everyone. So stay tuned for that stuff. And as always, we'll catch you next time for some more 40K action. There will be much more to come. Happy Wargaming!